Well, hello there. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, I, uh, I'm here in the new studio. What do you think? Let me, uh, let me make one little adjustment here before we get things started. Um, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. All right, so what do you think of the new digs? Um, yeah, I got my hair whipping in the wind. That's right, I'm breaking one of my own rules. I've got a fan in here just to make sure it's not too hot. So um, how is everybody doing out there today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, we have a big show today. We've got a fun show and we're kicking things off right here live in the new studio. So uh, as you can see, my movers forgot my desk. So I guess I'm just going to have to stand and do the whole show with my hair whipping in the wind. Uh, that's the way that it goes. So um, we're going to go ahead and get things started. Uh, let's check out and see where we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about where we're streaming. We talked last week about the Facebook guidelines and all that kind of stuff. So if for any reason that today during the show something happens, Know that it's not me just like deciding to stop the show. Be sure to go over to our YouTube page and check us out over there. If we get dropped, we will con we'll come right back and, and continue the show. Hopefully, knock on wood, knock, knock on wood, that nothing happens like that today. Social medias, check out our Instagram as well as our Twitter. Uh, we've got uh, uh, audio-only podcasts available on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, and Podbean. And of course, our old lonely email address is still the audio roast podcast at gmail.com. If you've got any uh, ideas or suggestions, show topics or, or game ideas that you would like to see us do here on the show, be sure to send them on to the audio roast podcast at gmail.com. Um, we've also got our uh, Patreon channel. Uh, it's all set up, ready to go. And next week, we're really going to be kicking into high gear over there with all the moving and all the, all the stuff that's been happening in my world. I haven't, I've, I'll be the first to admit, I've kind of dropped the ball on it and I haven't had a chance to update things yet, but big things are coming. Stay tuned. So be sure to check out Patreon and, and consider becoming a member. If it's not your thing to, you know, kind of have a monthly membership, if you will, similar to, uh, you know, like Hulu or Netflix, that kind of thing, even though you can cancel at any time, um, you can do a, a one time only or every now and then kind of thing over at uh, Cash App, dollar sign the Audio Rose Podcast and paypal.me slash the Audio Rose Podcast to help support the show. We are going to, at the end of this episode, have a playlist available on Spotify and on iTunes, and that is gonna be the songs and whatnot that are featured in today's show. So throughout the various segments and games and all the whatnots, uh, we're gonna have uh, a, a really cool companion piece, if you will, over on Spotify and, and uh, iTunes. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with everybody's favorite segment, Today in Music History. Uh, come on into the classroom, kiddies. Uncle Jared has got your back. Um, on this day, the oldest piece of history, by the way, is about to happen right here. All the way back in 1881, Edward Laveau patents the automatic player piano. You know, the one with the little whirly gig like you see in the honky tonks and stuff? That was created on this day in 1881. Jumping way ahead to 1974, on this day, John Lennon releases Walls and Bridges, uh, featuring the hit single, Whatever Gets You Through the Night. 20 years after that, in 1994, uh, Sting's financial advisor, Keith Moore, is charged with stealing $9.4 million from Sting. Um, he was his uh, financial advisor, and I guess just, you know, he had over 100 bank accounts, did Sting, and didn't even know it, and this guy was, you know, embezzling and fraudulently taking his money. Uh, so he got charged with that and jailed for six years. That's it, six years. So uh, if you want to become a millionaire, uh, start working with Sting and don't get stung. Um, in 1997, uh, Farm Aid number 10 uh, was, held, was scheduled to be held in Texas, but due to uh, low ticket sales, uh, it was canceled and then they moved it to all places, Illinois. Who knew? Uh, on to birthdays. Birthdays indeed do rock. So uh, celebrating a birthday today, born in 1928. Corbin Ulrich uh, was born in Fredericksburg, Denmark. He is, of course, a famous uh, tennis player, a writer, a filmmaker, and a musician. That's right, Ulrich. You might know that name from Lars Ulrich. Yes, that's absolutely Lars's father. That is Papa Metallica right there. Um, in 1953, Gil the Bird Moore, uh, celebrating a birthday today. He was 67. Uh, of course, uh, Gil is uh, the drummer and vocalist for Triumph. Um, born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, I saw that Deb Klein even shared a, a little lay it on the line on her Facebook page uh, last night, in fact. So it was uh, interesting timing. I bet you didn't even know that today was his birthday. 
1957, Russell Simmons, co-founder of Def Jam's recording label, which is a mega recording label in the hip-hop world. You might even say he's the Rick Rubin of, of hip-hop, celebrating a birthday today. And um, fast-forwarding, the youngest person on today's list, 1989 American rapper Lil Mama. Whoa, Lil Mama. Uh, celebrating a birthday today. She is from New York City. New York City! And, um, you know, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. So, uh, this day in 2016, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale of Bush, um, after 13 years of marriage, call it quits. So, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. Um, on to deaths. Um, 50 years ago today. Guys, can you believe 50 years ago today? is the day in 1970 when the world lost Janis Joplin. Uh, she was 27, uh, one of the first in the uh, 27 Club. And uh, she passed away from a drug overdose, um, famously. Um, but yeah, it was uh, 50 years ago today. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies by crazy. Um, in 1999, Eric Broderskrift, uh, AKA Grimm, uh, black metal drummer of Immortal, uh, Bro Brockenagar, and Gorgoroth, um, passed away at the age of 29 due to suicide. Uh, so, um, the next year in 2000, uh, Benjamin Orr, the bassist and singer for The Cars, uh, passes away from pancreatic cancer at the age of 53 uh, on October 4th, this day in history. And in 2005, Mike Gibbons, the drummer from Badfinger, um, passed away at the age of 56 from a brain aneurysm. Scary stuff, man. Scary. And, uh, in 2014, Paul Revere from Paul Revere and the Raiders passes away from cancer at the age of 76. So, we are going to um, wrap that up for today in music history and uh, get on to our next segment. Seven songs in seven days. Okay, so um, now you've seen the behind the scenes of the jingles. Uh, <laughs> it all comes from this hot mess. Uh, so yes, uh, right now is the time, go ahead, and I need seven songs for this week, so hashtag seven, and then give me a song. It could be any song, any genre, any, any uh, level of musicianship, whatever, um, any seven songs, and what I do is I take this following week and rank them uh, from first to last and, and kind of give a brief explanation why. So let's go ahead and talk about what I got last week. Um, in the number seven position, given to us by Mr. Ron Blair. Um, is uh, a song called 333 by a band called Hell Yeah. And of course I've heard of them, but I'll tell you and honestly tell you, I had no idea that uh, Hell Yeah was fronted by the former lead singer of Mudvayne. Had no idea. Um, at, for whatever reason, Hell Yeah is just not on my uh, radar. And, well, I won't say for whatever reason. I'll tell you the reason. Um, so, and, and here's a hot take. I prefer Mudvayne way more than I do Hell Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I don't understand why the singer uh, screams at the end part of every other line. It makes no sense. It it's just seems too formulaic and just it doesn't fit for the song in this case. So, nah. Uh, I will say that it was, it was kind of cool. It was cute, if you will, that the song also was 3 minutes and 33 seconds long. Um, I was expecting this to be a half-assed joke about uh, the number of the beast. But, of course, from what I gathered, it was not. Um, so that is number seven. Number six, we've got A Little Bit Off by Five Finger Death Punch. This one comes to us from Brian Betancourt. Um, this one, um, I can get why you like it. I can get why a lot of people like it um, because I can see that the lyrics are, are uh, you know, kind of relatable in a sense. But to me, it wasn't very deep. Um, it's talking about, you know, today I was just a little bit off, um, which to me blows. It's, it's what I call butt rock or... Uh, if you want to call it this, it's douchey. Um, it's just not my cup o t or cup o coffee. Um, on to number five, given to us by Josh Poole, is Goldilocks by King's X. Josh, go ahead and, and rip me a new one in the comments. Um, I tried for a second week in a row to give uh, King's X a, a try. I don't know what to say, man. They're just not doing it for me. Like... Um, just based on the name and the hype, I would imagine this to be like a, a big, powerful band from the 80s or 90s, and they are like way too chill <laughs> for my taste. Um, there, and there's a fine line, like, you know, I don't like the Screamo Death stuff, but at the same time, it was just still pretty chill, and I, was, I, did, I just didn't expect it. So um, nothing really stood out to me. The only um, 
The only note that I have written down is that uh, I don't get it. It seems generic and three Z's. Zzz, I just, you know, calling it like I sees it. Uh, number four, Brian Stokes suggested Midnight Rendezvous by Tokyo Blade. Now we're getting, now we're cooking with some heat. This one reminds me of the Scorpions. Um, I've never even heard of Tokyo Blade, so I don't know how big they were or weren't, where they're from, all that kind of stuff. You know I don't like doing a lot of research on this uh, list of seven of seven because I, I have to go in kind of naive and uh, blissfully ignorant, if you will. So uh, to me, it reminded me a lot of the Scorpions. Um, the chorus was surprisingly very poppy. Uh, it almost went from a, a rock song to a pop song and then back into a rock song. It was really weird, but I, I, for whatever reason, I really kind of dug it. Um, and number three, Black by Southern Confession. Uh, this one was given to us by Jody Marshall, who has been watching the show for a couple months now. And if you may or may not recall, this is actually Jody's band. Jody is the drummer of this band. So uh, I appreciate you sending in a local band for me to check out. Um, and I have actually watched this video once before. And I will tell you that uh, it had a great video. Um, I, did, I will say that I laughed several times at the guitar player who makes cameos sporadically. You know, he's like an elevator attendant. He's all these different things in the video. And it's, it's just comical because once you see it, that's all you see. But uh, it was a good video, really well put together. But honestly, um, the song itself, guys, good job. It was a great song, really well written. Um, me being in production and a video and, and lighting guy and all this kind of stuff, like, it was weird to see the uh, the lead singer, you know, strumming a mandolin, and then it goes to somebody else, and it comes back to him, and now he's got a, a six-string guitar, and I was like, where's the continuity? <laughs> but it was a good song. It was a great video, really well done. Good job, guys. Um, in the number two position, we've got Keeper of the Seven Keys by Halloween. Chris Snyder, thank you for that one. Um, I've always Halloween has always kind of been on my radar, but I've never stopped to, to give it an a honest listen. Uh, this one was just great stuff. It was very progressive. Um, in certain ways, it kind of reminded me almost of um, a little dash, maybe, of King Diamond or something. Um, just very progressive and, and that kind of thing. Um, long as hell. Um, it, was, it was very long, and I'm okay with that. Um, and, of course, in the number one spot, can you guess it? Given to us by Mr. Tyler Weeks is Cult of Personality by Living Color. Um, I've got no notes because no notes need to be written for that. It is an amazing song. It is still timely. It is still relevant. Um, Living Color is like, man, they should have they should have been pushed to the moon, and you know, and we might talk about this on a future episode. But of course, the record companies are what held back Living Color. They didn't know how to push a all black rock band. They didn't know what to do with it because they were very cutting edge and very out of the box and amazing. And they are still amazing. Uh, the singer still sounds great. It's good stuff. So, um, again, okay, so that's our seven of seven. Again, be sure to go over here to YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Got a whole card made just for that. All right, so uh, last week on the show, we did our um, talking shop number three, where we had Mitch Brashears from Springfield Music on the show, and we talked about all kinds of stuff. Like I said at the top of the show, we talked about the new Facebook guidelines. Uh, we had accountability court, where I kind of called generically and, and, and uh, widely called out some, some things that are happening in our local scene here in the Springfield, Missouri area. And um, it's, it's just one of those things I want it to be in your mind or at least in the back of your mind or something that you're at least aware of. Um, I can't hold everybody accountable and I won't. It's not my job. I'm just here to say, here's some stuff that I see. Maybe hold your bandmates accountable for it. And uh, going along with that, I made a uh, Ten Commandments list, if you will, of the Ten Commandments of local bands. And so that was a... Um, kind of a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing but there's some serious stuff in there too um so if you missed it go be, be sure to go check it out um and then next week we've got a, another first we've got our local live photography appreciation show now i i know a lot of you are probably thinking well that seems like an odd topic well let me tell you something everybody here watching on facebook or on youtube has seen uh, great pictures of themselves um, and use them on their profiles and that kind of stuff everybody wants to feel like a rock star look like a rock star so this is going to be our way to kind of give back and give props and thanks to um, the people that are going to be on next week's show, which include Marty Jones from Music Man Photography, who's an uh, amazing photographer, and Brenda Fulbright from Raven Angel Photography, who is also equally amazing. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do some uh, photography appreciation and talk a lot of, um, you know, what, what got them started, when did they start, their journey along the way, what do they do outside of local music, uh, that kind of thing. So we'll get into all that next week. 
But today is the uh, the great uh, disco and funk. 1977 episode we are going to funk it up in here and um you know do that kind of fun stuff so um before we before we get going on the show and i introduce the guests and all this kind of stuff i want to take just a minute and say um my condolences sincerely to the family and friends and fans and bandmates of steve avery now you guys know that um you know a couple weeks ago when charity baker passed away i put together a photography montage and was able to, uh, you know, kind of get an essence of charity for those of you who didn't know her. And um, I don't want to do the same for Steve because Steve was known as a guitar player. So what I want to do is uh, show some of his guitar work um, as he was playing um, all the way back. I think this video comes from 2011. So I'm going to I'm going to go over to uh, Steve Avery and um, with the Mud Sharks. That's correct. And um, so we're going to go over and check that out. And uh, we'll be back after. There we go. Um, all right, here we are. We're going to kick off the show. Um, we're going to introduce our guests and stuff, but before we start, we're going to take our first commercial break. We'll be back in just one second and uh, check out your comments. So uh, bear with us. Yo.
Classic Rock Coffee. Our coffee rocks. Oh, yeah, I'm sipping on a sauce of Classic Rock Coffee. All right, so I want to, uh, before we introduce our guest, I want to check in here and uh, let me grab my mouse. Um, I was over there doing my intro and realized I didn't even have uh, it set up to where I can see your comments as I was going. So I'm going to catch up real quick. Um, Al, Al Hutcher says, howdy. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Sherry Quigley, how's it going? Josh Poole, uh, <laughs> greeting. And in the words of the great Boosty Collins, glory be the funk on me. Um, Glory be the funks on me. There we go. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, in in Hammond's Tower, no, not quite. Uh, we are here at uh, Classic Rock Coffee, and uh, yeah, uh, you might say that Sunset Studios has moved over to Sunset Street. Who would have thought? Uh, Jared Isaacs, Amy O, how's it going, man? Uh, good to see you, my friend. Uh, what's up? No disco fro. Yeah, you know it used to be, but it it got kind of warm in here, and my hair just went. So uh, yeah, it happens to the best of us. Uh, looks awesome, Jared. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate that. I appreciate all your support. And I want to say uh, from the from the start of the show, a big thank you, a huge, huge thank you, um, sincerely to Brian Betancourt and Anthony Cano for helping me lug around, um, muscle and move all of the stuff that it takes to uh, make this uh, podcast happen. There is, he will be the first to tell you it takes a lot of stuff. Uh, as I as I told uh, one of our guests today, it takes a lot to do a little. So um, yeah. Green screen. What are you talking about? No, that was my studio, bro. What are you talking about? Come on now. Don't don't sell me short on that. Um, Chris Hankins. Wow, buddy. Johnny Carson set didn't have anything on yours. Looks awesome, man. Very cool. Well, mission accomplished then. Moving on up to the east side. That's right, Terry. Uh, we're actually moved over to the west side. Um, does Uncle Jared touch anyone else? No, not without their permission. <laughs> uh, now you need a studio audience. Hey, I like the way you think. Uh, stay tuned. Um, he's got a laugh track. Yeah, I do. It's fired up over here, but you know, I'm, I'm wanting to get the show going. So, uh, Terry says a few of us could go and hackle and screw them up. It wouldn't take much. <laughs> uh, Kim says, I would like to nominate doing nothing by rigid soul. Uh, they have a Facebook page, uh, with all kinds of videos. Okay. So, uh, Kim, uh, is putting out her first, uh, uh, for our seven songs in seven days. So let's see if anybody else has any. A uh, little bit off by first, uh, first by five finger death punch. Yep, sorry, Brian, didn't care for it. Um, it's cool if you like it. I thought it sucked. Uh, Horror in this moment. Um, never heard of it, so good stuff. Um, Fever Ray, if I had a heart, all right. A um, little bit off. You've already done that one. We just did that. You want me to roast it twice? Um, got it. Uh, <laughs> crap, I did that already. Yeah, see, there you go. Uh, Daniel Fritz, Tara Fritz, how many shots are you up to? Uh, I know, I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better on the uh and ums, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, see, Scotty, I don't know who Scotty is. Uh, there's another one. Drink. I'm just gonna do this to make all you guys like totally wasted. Uh, see, uh, uh, Amy Oberbeck, love you too, sweets. Okay, so we've got a lot of fun stuff happening. Again, thank you so much for being here. Brenda says, love the new studio. Looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to having you on as well as Marty. It's going to be fantastic. So we've got that out of the way. On to the next piece of business. We're going to go ahead and introduce our guests. Uh, up first, so of course, it's a big day for me with the uh, the new studio, all the, all the exciting things that happen. But uh, as they say in show business, the show must go on. Tim Broadbent running behind. Um, and I hear it's kind of a thing. Um, so we've got somebody very special to fill in for him. You've seen him here on the show uh, several, several months ago. What a great guest. What a great friend. Stepping in and out of his comfort zone a little bit um, is not Timothy Broadbent, even though that's what the graphic says, because that's how last minute this thing is. That's all right. We have got Mr. Tom Hembry. That is me. That is not him. Uh, yeah. Let's see here if I can... Um there we go. Boom. Hey, nice. Hey, I know where you got those. Hey, perfect. Tom, Tim to Tom. <laughs> what up, Tim Tom? <laughs> oh, here, let me give you some microphone. That'll help. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, now you can hear. Oh, okay. yeah, now we can hear you. Man, looking, looking fly as always. It's disco, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, I'm pretending to be Tim. <laughs> can't play the sax or the crap. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know if we can keep you then. Uh, don't know. 
that's, what, that's the that's the break even point with being able to do Tim. Right. No, you you look like you belong in a in a band from the seventies for sure. You look like a keyboard player. You look like that's who it is. You look like Paul Schaefer. Everybody, welcome to the show, oh, Mr. No. Paul Schaefer from the uh, CRC Orchestra. That's the classic rock copy orchestra. I'm only no. I'm only seven times bigger than that. Guy, <laughs> oh my that's God! Yeah, problem. only. All right, and up next, our second guest, we've got uh, Mr. Jason West here with us. Uh, let's see if I can switch this one over at the right time. There we go. Jason, how is it going, my friend? Going real good. Good. Good to see you. And thank you so much for not only being here, but being timely. <laughs> I'm always on time. Yeah, not you know, I'm not, I'm not one to throw shade. I'm just saying. <laughs> good to see you, my friend. Thank you again for being here. We are going to have a great show. Um, I know that you're a bit of a uh, disco aficionado. You have a reputation in town for being one of the uh, the disco fellas, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love disco funk. Country, soul, blues, bluegrass. I like it all. A little bit of everything, huh? A little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's see where I'm at here in my notes. <laughs> let's do that. Okay. We are, um, there we go. Everybody looks good. Uh, Tim Tom ran off to help adjust the camera. So when, when Tim Tom gets back, we'll, uh, we'll hit our next piece of business. Looks good, Tom. Looks good. He's like, yeah, but it's, it could be better. <laughs> yeah. oh boy all right well uh be sure to sign up for patreon and we'll be able to get some really good camera stands that uh hold sorry. their shape sorry about that no it's okay it's okay Couldn't welcome stop. welcome back to the show paul Couldn't schaefer <laughs> well you know dave <laughs> <laughs> yeah i am no david letterman um you are more paul schaefer than i am david letterman those are big shoes to fill thank god <laughs> I, I don't know i think you should be thankful for that uh well true um Real quick, yeah, uh, Amy Oberbeck says, uh, rest in peace, Scott Avery. Yeah, big Absolutely. time. Big hole in the Springfield music community now. Um, I, I had never uh, played with or worked with Scott. I've always uh, been a fan of Scott and went and watched uh, him play over the years, uh, whether it be Pearl or the Mud Sharks. In fact, the, uh, the video that was taken uh, right around that area, uh, time frame, I should say, is when they also used to play at 320s whenever Sunset Strip was first getting our start. And um, so, yeah, in fact, I think we even played the same show. But uh, Scott was a phenomenal, phenomenal talent. Um, really great guitar player. Um, no ego at all. Like Super nice guy. Yeah, like every time I saw him play, he was like not even in the front with a band. Like he would always be in the back, like just, I just want to be here and be heard, you know, and, and he was heard through his guitar. So uh, rest, in rest in peace, my friend, rest in peace. Um, okay. Chris Schneider says, howdy, Jason. Uh, hey, Chris. And Sherry Quigley says, Jason West, I'm disappointed in your wardrobe choice for this event. You know, I got hey, it. I hey, I am wearing the platform soles. So are you? Okay, well, see, I didn't look I didn't look down <laughs> below. I didn't do an up and downer. But I, I saw he came in and had a flannel shirt and a, a stocking cap, and I'm like, you know the grunge episode was two weeks ago, that's, right? That's my <laughs> that's my usual street clothes. Actually, my my thing was when I was wearing those platform soles is is it uh it just tickled my wife. I'd say, Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get out of these heels. <laughs> oh that's good stuff yeah um i'm sure she appreciated you in heels to be honest i appreciate her <laughs> fair enough fair enough okay guys well so uh this is going to be very funny because tom when you were on the uh, episode that you were on for the american celebration all the way back around the fourth of july suck then too no so yeah. Oh, yeah, here's oh, here then. believe me well here's I, I was, your perfect bad, your perfect chance to redeem yourself is Not right me. here we're yeah. gonna play the first game the 70s disco <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, I'm on top I'm well back. you know you know how it is on the show it doesn't matter if you get wrong answers or right answers just as long as you have fun so back, he is back and he's even in black y'all so uh, take that for what it's worth. Okay. Uh, whenever this came up the first time that you were on the show, your instant was like, oh, God. <laughs> so let's see if we get a, uh, a similar reaction on this next go around. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Like the first time it was like, oh, <laughs> and this time it's just like, okay, here we go. Hey, All right. So, uh, Jason, this is how uh, this is going to work. You are allowed one lifeline per song. You can choose from either of these. I can either read you the second line, uh, I can give you the artist initials, or we can go to the live comments and you can have a lifeline out there. So, okay, um, it's really pretty easy. What's going to happen is it's going to show the first line of a song, and I just need you to tell me what song it is and who sang it. Okay. So, um, 
Let's see here. I've got uh, Jason written down to go first. So um, keeping in tradition, Jason, you can go first. Uh, here's the first one. For so long, you and me been finding each other for so long. I know what. Do you? <laughs> I think so. I know the band. I have I know no the band. idea. I have no idea. No idea? Do you have a guess? Just a random anything? No. No, I don't. Okay. Um, let's see if uh, Tim Tom is right. Is it the Bee Gees? Oh, we are so close. It's Andy Gibb then. Okay, yes, that yes, is correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Same difference. For yes. so long. Come. Yeah. Da, da, you da, da, and me find each other da, for da, so long. Exactly. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, do you get a half a point, a quarter point, you, anything? You, you get one full point. Um, <sighs> so uh, we, of course, Thanks, award. Dude. I didn't even score. I scored. It took me an hour to <laughs> right. score a point yeah. last time. Okay, <laughs> it man. did. It did. We'd taken a nap by the time I got the point <laughs> the first show. <laughs> So, yes, um, it is Andy Gibb. Do you know the name of the song? For So Long. Okay. Uh, the great Johnny Carson says that the answer is, I Just Want to Be Your Everything by Andy Gibb. Totally so, guess in the dark. Yeah. You get uh, one point there, uh, Tom. And uh, so let's see, Tom, if you can get this next one. Yes. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Um. Not going to know that one. Don't we get a lifeline per song? You do. Did you say? You do. So you didn't take advantage of that, man. Right. Um, geez, could I ask for the second line? Might not be the smart thing here. Um, You're a wise man. <laughs> okay. What so, was my other choice on those three again? The um, lifelines? I'm sorry. Initials of the artist, or we can go to the comments. Initials of the artist. Okay. D S. Oh, it's Donna Summer. Okay. So I'll put you down for a point on that one. Um, zero idea of the song. <laughs> okay. Um, zero. Okay. So, Jason, do you have any idea what the name of the song is by chance? I have no idea. Yes. Okay. Um, Johnny Carson, the Magnificent, says the answer is I Feel Love by Donna Summer. What did yeah. ever, not even close to what I've ever gotten. <laughs> yeah. Makes me feel good. All right. Uh, Jason, it is your go. Here is the next song. He's got the potion and the emotion. Uh, give me, give me a lifeline. Uh, give, give me the second verse. Okay, the second line. Second line is um, when I'm feeling low, when my love starts to glow. I have no idea. Hmm. Tim Tom. Barry White. No, baby, you were wrong. <laughs> I just wanted to say Barry White but, in the show somehow, some way, sometime. I'm not being, I'm not doing very good at this. You are not. Jason, you better I, get your shit I, together. I know. Oh, I know. wait a minute. I, I've done messed up. Hang on. Yeah. I, I've got this. It's okay. You, you better get your shit together. <laughs> oh, no. Tr trust me, you're, you've got a ways to go to catch up on how bad I did. <laughs> trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Larkin and I destroyed the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, Tom, do you have any idea? Well, I uh, said Barry White, so... Okay, Barry White, that's right. Yeah. Um, that, that is incorrect. Let's see what uh, Johnny Carson reveals this to be. Dr. Love by First Choice. Um, <laughs> yeah. This was neither of your guys' first choice. This was uh, <laughs> not even probably on your list. It helps if I've ever heard of the band. Well, and much less could yeah, guess I one heard of the songs. I have to. Yeah, to be fair, to be fair, total disclaimer: there is a lot of what I would consider one-hit wonder kind of things in this show. But if you're a fan of disco, right. Jason, no good. pressure. Um, then, um, then yeah, you should you should be doing aces. So step your stuff up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all joking aside. Um, next up, let's try Tom on this one. It's a bird. <laughs> no, it's a plane. No. Um, artist initials. I'm just going straight to the lifeline. Not even going to try and guess. T totally straight fair. Straight to the lifeline. Totally fair. C, B. This is disco, right? This is very disco. This, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a little something about the song after this. Yeah, if I had a guess, it would be embarrassing. So I'll just say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's I know less embarrassing. My, te my telepathy was telling me where you're going with that. And I'm, <laughs> I'm glad we dodged that one. Yeah, um, I wasn't going to say Superman if that's what you're asking. Okay, well, okay. Um, or underdog, either one. 
<laughs> Jason, you still look as confused as ever. <laughs> I'm usually really good at music trivia. Oh, sure. I don't know. Wh- I don't know why oh, yeah. I'm tanking on this. It's no, the pressure. I, I have no idea. All right. Well, um, you're up against a heavyweight here, man. What you <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and reveal the second line. So it's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, the second line is it's Superman. Now, do you want to tell me the name of the song? Sure. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, Jason. I know yeah, you no, know I, it. I have no idea. This guy does right here. I, Superman. There you go. Boom. <laughs> it's it's Superman by Seely B. Why didn't I get that point when I said Superman before? I don't know. I want to. Hey, I, is there a is there any kind of a judge you can go to here for any kind of a grievance on any of these questions and answers? There's no there's no authorities here. It's just the master behind all the buttons. There we go. Yeah, we've rewound. Yeah, um, and, so, and and we still have no judges that are. Uh, <laughs> Still no answer. Yeah. Okay. Great. Hey, can no you gu- can you dumb down the questions for me? Uh, yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Yes. I. Uh, I can. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Seely um, Okay. So Jason, uh, I will dumb down the next question. But I gotta. I gotta talk to my career. Dumb down the next question for Jason West. <laughs> okay. And uh, here we go. Listen to the ground. There is movement all around. Okay, I played this song. Okay, well, then you better, if you, you better don't get know this, it. then, pal. It's the Bee Gees. Yes, that is correct. Oh. Jason's finally on the board. Can you sing part of it? Listen to the ground. There's music all around. Da, na, 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 na. And I can feel it. Da, na, 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 na. And I'm down in my no walking. Idea. No da, idea. Na, 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 na. Very good, but I have no idea. No idea the song name on that. Pretty woman no. moves in and I'm coming to it. Yep, you're getting there. You're turning the corner. You don't have to show it. Oh, you're kidding. It's I know that one. Well, yeah. You don't show it. Is there a timer? Yeah, you've already passed it. You've already passed it. Can I just sing the song and get a point? <laughs> I say give him a point. You know what? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. But I know the name. Do I get a point? Even though you didn't really articulate it, you're like, (laughs) (laughs) so I'm going to have to go (laughs) fever. (laughs) That's how I sing most of the songs when I'm driving down the road. (laughs) But not on stage, right? Right, right. <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Third set, they all sound like that. Most (laughs) Right. Right. All right, Tom. uh, What's the actual name of the song, sir? Night Fever. Hey, Night Fever by the Bee Gees. Good stuff. Would have um, never got it until the you got to the you got. To well, the I course. finally got, you a got point. to the course. Well, yeah, much faster than I did, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So actually, it ended up being a tie game, two to two. Um, hey. So uh, we got we got all of our seven for seven. So um, I haven't I've not done a good job so far of keeping track how many we've got. So thank you for that one, Chris. Um, so I saw somewhere up here. Okay, uh, Marjorie says Chris Hankins. I was like Cardi B. Okay, well I want to go back to the uh, Seely B song, um, Superman. That yeah. is the original WAP. Just saying, you should listen to the lyrics. It is raunchy and nasty AF for its time. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, she's yeah, yeah. And that's saying something because that was a seventies for real. Yes, <laughs> okay. legitimately. Yeah. yeah. No, it's whew, it was racy. So um, okay, we are going to. Um, well, again, I had I had this all set up nice and cute for uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Timothy Broadbent, but <clears throat> since he's still not here, uh, we're going to go ahead and I've, I've got some separate questions to ask Tim Tom Schaefer. Um, so, um, Tom, did you ever? I know you're you're known here in town for like the behind the scenes production kind of guy. Did you ever play any instruments in school or anything? Uh, trumpet. Did you? Of course. Well, okay. you know, one of the, you know, the dude instruments in high school. Yep, for sure. Everybody's I played gotta it. Play. I played it for about six months myself. Piano, um, piano when I was young. Really? In keys, yeah. Yeah, very cool. But just uh, fell in love with the uh, the other side of it. Absolutely. Really young. So, okay. So um, ten it, years old. Is there any instrument that you wish that you could play that you don't? Love the bass. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um. Very cool. If uh. I, I don't remember if I asked this or not, but I'm going to ask you the heavy question of the, of the day. You already know what's coming. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No. What's your favorite play, flavor of Pop-Tart? It's, listen, you're going to start crap here online. You're going to start a controversy in the middle of disco show, so I'm just going to refrain <laughs> from saying anything. We're going to let this go. That's There's the go- point! 
Yeah, exactly. I'm saving this for the Pop Tart Showdown with Shane Jennings. Oh, there's okay. going to be a throwdown on this program. There is. There is. Shane, you heard me, buddy. The challenge has been dropped. Oh yeah. All if right. I, if I had a Pop Tart, I would drop it right now. <laughs> I would. The, the Pop Drop. That's exactly Coin right. Coin it. It's, Coin it. Print you it. hear me, Jennings? <laughs> I'm talking to you, pal. <laughs> Come on, Jinky. Yeah, bring um, it out, Jinky Fest. Your pop tarts. <laughs> okay, now this one does actually apply to you, even though you're you're behind the scenes. Do you have any pre-show or post-show rituals? And I'm not talking about setting up and tearing down. Um, no, no, not really. Now I'm not a, I'm not a creature of uh, superstition or anything like that. Really, it's more. Well, uh, I have a checklist. Okay, you know, and so like a tear down checklist kind of thing. Um, like, is it is it just like a pre-show? Like once all the once all the setup and everything is done, it's just like a band. Once they once they get done setting up and everything, there's almost kind of a refocus you have to do to performing and to catching all the little things. Versus, you know, setting up can be very you know relaxed and everybody's kicking back, just like a band does. Sure. And so it's just a matter of uh, you know having that time before you get started, so you focus in. Not every not every guy pays attention all the show either. So you know, I'm just talking. You know, using my the way we do things. So yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. For me, like my my post show ritual, if you will, like I'm always hungry after a show, but everything, especially right now during the pandemic, is closed. closed. Yeah. Um, but uh, I my my biggest bad habit is Oreos, and so I'll always yeah. go home have a full glass of milk and and a stack of Oreos, and I'm in heaven. God, the, first the pop tarts, now the dang Oreos. Oh, man. oh they're, they're, Ore I just don't care for Oreos. They're, it's bitter. They're bitter. Oh. They're bitter little cookies. Oh my gosh, I love Oreos. They're, Same. They're bitter. Same. I, These no. are bitter cookies. I have sworn off Oreos because I'd be I'd be fifty pounds heavier because <laughs> I can eat the whole package. I, I mean, could, I can't yeah. stop. It is yep. the most angry cookie there is. Oh no, it's the oh, best it's, cookie. And, and they keep trying to oh, tweak Oreos. I'm right. You know, different kind. You know, just give me the classic Oreo. Well, okay, now I'll give you two variants that I like. I like the mint and I like the the vanilla cookie with the lemon inside. It's good. good now I God. also saw that they have a Java cream. Ooh. And I'm like, oh, well, my coffee insides are bubbling for some <laughs> some uh, Oreo coffee uh marriage, if you will. This so is, this is embarrassing. It, it kind of is. I'm writing this, this down. I think I, okay. so. I'm I'm calling and I'm calling this early. If we're having a pop tart off, we're gonna also have an Oreo off. And uh, yeah, we'll, I'd we'll, like to be invited. I want to hear that. Okay. I want to hear that said again. Could you just say that again? No, sir. <laughs> 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 there might, no, you have to say that again. There might, there might what be about this? There might be children watching. There's going to be a what? <laughs> a pop tart off and an Oreo off. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring Sorry. this back in. I'm going to bring this back in. Okay. Um. Now, Tom. Um. What yes. would you be if you followed your childhood dream? Uh, if I followed my childhood dream, what would I be doing? I'd be playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Really? Big Pittsburgh Steelers fan as a kid and then just grew out of it when I got older. But that was the kid thing, playing football, basketball. Yeah, every kid. I mean, what little guy didn't want to? Well, mine didn't. He wanted to be a nuclear scientist so <laughs> <laughs> or builder of bridges or something when he was two. So, oh. Blasphemy. Al Hutch is over here in the comments says, great value, double fudge, Oreo ripoffs. Uh, get out of here with that fake news. <laughs> and there's only one thing worse than Oreos. Fake Oreos. Yes, 100%. Yeah. 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 Uh, Lisa says, uh, red velvet Oreos all the way. Yeah. See, I'm telling you, there is meat on the bone here, fellas. No. There you, is guys, meat on the you guys could keep your Oreo crap, okay? I'm just telling you, if you just take the cookie off the side of one and you eat that by itself, it's bitter. That's why you angry don't. Angry cookie. That's why you don't. But it's an angry cookie that tastes like that. No, you pop the whole thing in your mouth. You, you do. Know? You don't well, even bite into it. I understand it. that. No, I, but I, they show on the commercials. Oh, you should break it apart. See, and that's part of the. That's going to be part of the debate. Listen to the Oreo as it tells you how great it is. Yeah. You can, if you put <laughs> an open Oreo to your ear, you can hear the sea of cream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you open an Oreo, you hear your stomach going. God no, please no. God no, please give me out of the Please. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what a mess! What a mess! Okay, then we uh, making an Oreo Pop Tart by the end of the weekend. There probably is. I'm sure there is Oreo Cookie Pop Tart. In fact, I believe there is. But I'm more of an Oreo expert than I am a Pop Tart expert. I Double will, I will blasphemy say is all I can say about <laughs> Oreo Pop Tart. Uh, Elkie says mint Oreos are the best. Yeah, I would. I would agree that that's a very strong argument. I love the mint. 
Um, okay, so I tell you what, uh, better, fellows, better let's take cookie. let's take a quick little break, and uh, we will uh, be back after this little message. Hey, musicians, do your shows need that extra layer of fun and excitement? Wow your fans with Next Level Production and let Sunset Productions help you up your game. We can create custom and unique sound, lighting, and video packages designed just for you and your budget. Let's work together and give our community the shows they deserve. For more information, contact Jared Isaacs at sunsetproductionsspringfield at gmail.com. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Sunset Productions. Sunset Productions. Don't be a jukebox. Be an experience. All right, man, we are back. Oops. That was not a uh, a long, extended, uh, in-between sets kind of break. That was uh, in and out. That's how you do it. So, See if meal computer will continue to work. There we go. All right. Um, time for our second game. Because we did so great. In the first right. Time. Right. Oh, guess it in reverse. Even <laughs> easier. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is this like back masking? <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I couldn't get it forward. What makes you think I can get something in reverse? <laughs> exactly. So, oh, I could stand backwards and right. maybe get it. <laughs> right. So every time we play this game now, I'm, I'm going to do a shout out to uh, Josh Poole. Josh, in the um, grunge episode two weeks ago, said, do you know what a grunge song is when it's played backwards? It's all about positivity and motivation. <laughs> <laughs> it's pop music. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's great <laughs> stuff, man. Oh, man. All right. So is that how this game came into existence because of Josh Poole? No. Oh, no. okay. Because no. I could blame it, him if you want. Oh, well, I mean, go for it. <laughs> Josh, what are you doing? I won't hold you back um okay so it's this simple you're gonna hear a little clip of a song it's gonna be played backwards about a 30 second clip um and i will just i tell you what whoever can shout out and you know inside appropriate voices uh nah fuck it you can shout um yeah this uh, is gonna whoever, be, yeah there's gonna be a can, lot of competition we'll, <laughs> we'll just do a free for all style on on today's um so whoever can give me the uh the name of the song and the artist uh will get a point for each so uh gentlemen are you ready yes all right oh yeah there it is. You'll ever be born ready right here. <laughs> Come on, Tim Tom Schaefer. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Brick House. Yep. Bye. Commodores. Hey. I was going to say that. Oh, I sneaked the point in there. It's sneaking in. <laughs> that is indeed Brick House by the Commodores. Is that. Yeah. When it, yeah. Yep. That's when you get it. Yep. So, uh, see, Jason, this might, you were, you were nervous. Might, you're like, ah, oh, I'm going to get it backwards if I can do it. But look, man, you're doing, you're on the, you're on the hey, board. I'm two the points, board. two to, oh, just wait saying. a minute. I got a point there. Yeah. He, I he, said the Commodore. Oh, you did. See, this is what's, I want, yeah. okay. He snuck okay. in before I could hit that. Where's, where's the judges? I want the judges. This, I've been ripped off of two points now. All right. And, uh, Jason gets a point and Tim Tom Schaefer gets a point. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Excellent job there. Right. <laughs> You're here to the judges. <laughs> They're after me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> They're La after me. Laughter from the audience. Laughter from the audience. All right. The judges are all musicians. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> all right. Calm down out there. Calm down. Calm down. It's extended. On. Encore. Encore. Thank you, Springfield. <laughs> Tip your bartender and your waitress. <laughs> right. Oh my God, how long is it? Thank you, Tulsa. Uh, Perfect. Wait, look how okay. fast they stopped. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. And scene. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Up on the second song. Here we go. Song, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I'm sure. Living in a world alone. Da, da, da. I don't know any of that rest of it. Living in a world of love. BGs. Living in the world alone. Oh. 
I get the BGs. I got a point, so I don't care anymore. Yeah, that mm. yeah, that was BGs. Yeah. Yep, that is BGs. I get, I get um, point. Here you go, right here, Josh. Pull striking again. Funk songs in reverse is polka. Hundred <laughs> percent. Totally agree. <laughs> Couldn't I, agree more. No, I'm on team Josh Pool with that. <laughs> but uh, I disagree with him on all the Oreo and Pop Tart crap, though. I'm just like right. Uh, Elkie says, "Where's the belt?" Well, the cowbell. Changing your cassette tape. It's right over here. Um, for safekeeping. Uh, we might we might break that out in, in another game here in a second. Uh, there, we finally got a correct yeah, how answer. How deep is your love? That's how what deep I was is thinking. your love? The betting courts over here uh, with correct answers. Um, okay, so uh, on to our next song here. Oh, and the answer, of course, is How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees. Brothers Gibb. Al Green. Oh, close. Sounds like something off an adult movie. Uh, even closer. Oh, Barry White. Hey! I'm going to get a Barry White answer right there. Hey, do I give half, half that point? Sure. Give him half. I'm up for it. There's a lot so of Barry gotta, to go yeah, around. I got a so. point and a half, then. Oh, yeah. uh, especially in this era. Yeah, yes. there was. Yes, give him a half point, dang it. I'm fair. Okay. Share and share alike, I was man. like, I didn't want to say it, but I'm like, you've already said this name once. Yeah, you, you uh, keep saying Barry White. It's it's going to come it's around gonna, sooner or later. I, that's you'll what get I a started point. to say at first, and then I go, no, it can't be Barry White, because I said that earlier, and that's when I said Al Green. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious as a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Didn't well, work out so well. But. Okay. Well, you're right with Barry White. And um, Jason, you're really close <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> song title uh, without even knowing it. So I got a point and a half. Yeah. You got, you're up to one and a half points. Uh, so do you, yeah. either of you guys know the name of the song by chance? Mm-hmm. Barry White in the year. By the way, obviously, uh, and I should have said this at the beginning of, song, or the, of the episode, everything today has to do with disco from the year 1977. So if you know about oh. the year 77 really well. <laughs> well, if I would have known that, it, it would have been a lot better. Thanks. Well, yeah, I was four years old. Oh, Because I was concentrating on the early 70s in my research. <laughs> yeah, all your research you did on this on this episode. Well, absolutely. Yeah, no, of course. Um, yes, it is Barry White. The name of the song is... Um, got some good uh, uh, correct answers in the comments with Barry White. Wrong songs, though. The answer is, it's ecstasy when you lay down next to me. So Jason, you were close. It is some uh, hey. some adult content, if you will. <laughs> He's a uh, p- Barry was quite the poet, <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> Thank you. Ba-dum-tsh. Yeah, I got that one over here too, but I'm afraid it might take too long. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's try another. Can I get the artist's initials? Oh, right, wrong game. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> Literally, not even close to no an idea. idea. No. No, not even close. Um, <laughs> Dev Quant says, "Ooh, Barry was nasty." <laughs> Agree yes, with that. ma'am. Um, okay, so the artist initials, I will go ahead and give it to you. Okay. T C. T C. Oh, that held. Oh, you're expecting that to help and get an answer out of us? Oh, sorry. Next. <laughs> Chris Hankins says, the only thing I can remember about 1977 was Smokey and the Bandit, and I learned how to pee in the big boy potty. There you go. Hey. Uh, and you still can't aim after all these years of practice. No. <laughs> Can I can I cheat by looking at the line here where it says Lionel Richie? Sure, of course you can. Okay, Lionel Richie, easy like a Sunday morning. Uh, you're close, but uh, sorry, it's actually it is Lionel Richie if you want to be technical. But this was Commodores, the Commodores. Yeah. TC is the Commodores. Yes, TC is not LC. Lionel Richie. Well, that'd be LR, <laughs> LR, right? I think that's LR. We would know that as left and right, Tom. Yes, but it's still <laughs> in, in, the, in the tech Lionel. world. 
Um, yes, Easy by the Commodores. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. No, I have been playing that song for 30 years. Backwards? Yeah, right? Not backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Were you playing? I played You're cool. that. It was one of the first songs. I mean, Lionel Richie is the first stuff I learned on piano, and I didn't get that one. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You must but, you must perform that one in the car. <laughs> in fairness, though, do you ever listen to anything backwards? So really? I mean, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I think I spun a little bit of Led Zeppelin backwards back in high school just to Ooh. hear if it was true, you know? Ooh. Right. Backmasking. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we've got one more here. Uh, fellas, Great. let's see how we do. Awesome. I heard a lot of keyboards, so Jason, you better know this. Mm -hmm. And you too, Tom. You played piano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, it, I'll it, be honest. I know the song. I would have never known who sang it or what the name of the song how, was. How about some initials? Okay. Uh, T B J. <laughs> no, I refuse to take that bait. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> it is. It, it, that you have no idea how funny this is. I so used to take the, 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 the first that. word is the. So I put a T there, so I wouldn't have to just say BJ. But even is saying it? BJ is highly appropriate for the name of this band. <laughs> In oh, some circles. You're expecting an answer, I'm assuming? <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. I have no idea. Yeah. All right. The answer is, y'all ready for this? The Brothers Johnson. <laughs> Strawberry letter number 23. And that clears <laughs> up. Oh, so, so there was no reason to have that kind of a plot about well, BJ, <laughs> Brothers Johnson. I'm telling yeah. you, in some circles. In some. <laughs> uh, need vocals. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that. I just thought, Thank you know, you, Josh I just Poole. thought, you know, having a, a keyboard player on the show would eh. be able to get a keyboard part. Eh. But, you know, maybe he plays that one in the car, too. <laughs> That's working well for me, the whole keyboard. <laughs> right. That helps a guy like me a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, I am, um, I've am. i been enjoying some classic rock coffee. I'm going to get a refill. Oh, We're going to yeah. take a, me too. Take a quick little one-minute break, and we will be back in just one second. Oh, ready, and we're back. Ow. And we're back with hot coffee. <sighs> little sippy sip right here. All right, so um, let's see what we've got next. Jason, it is your turn to jump in the hot seat. I hope you're ready, my friend. I'm ready. All yes. right. Um, let's see if I can get this right. Nope, that's right. I still didn't have that fixed. Uh, can you get that graphic changed so Tim's name's off there and mine's on there now? Well, <laughs> sure. Let me just do that, too. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Let me Jeez. set this up. I mean, I would expect the thing to look professional, wouldn't you, Jason? <laughs> I know, right? Get, Cripe, a, get a nice new big studio that's all nice and spacious. There we go. There he is. Oh, that's much better. And uh, yeah, so Jason, right out of the gate, what is your favorite flavor of Pop-Tart? I like the brown sugar. Yes! Oh, yes! no. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. You're, you're one of those. I can eat them raw or toasted either yes! way. Oh, my God. You're one of those. Yes! Well, this has been a fun episode. Thank you so much for all your time, Jason. <laughs> well, I like the chocolate fudge, too. I mean, I, oh, I have never geez. met a Pop-Tart that I didn't like. You know? Save this tape. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. Save this tape. Okay. Um, 
did you, uh, Jason, play any instruments while you were in school? Uh, well, I started playing guitar when I was 12 years old. I ordered it out of the Sears catalog. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, my, my mom said, well, see, I loved Kiss. And uh, my mom said that, uh, you know, if I uh, bought a, uh, it, it, you know, I told her I wanted the uh, Les Paul, you know, that was about 120 bucks out of the Sears catalog. And she goes, no, no, no. If you buy the $28 guitar, um, I'll buy you uh, uh, guitar lessons. So right. uh, I saved up my money. You know, they gave me little jobs to do and everything to make a little extra money. And, and uh, uh, I finally ordered it and waited for it. And it showed up on the front porch one day. And then she took me to the music store to get the guitar lessons. And, and I'm 12 years old and they show up and, you know, the, he, my mom says, well, he's here for guitar lessons. Oh, he go, they go, okay, let me go get the guitar teacher. And, out comes this guy that looks like Ted Nugent. I mean, this oh guy really? Had hair like this, and I'm—I've never seen anybody like this. And, you know, I look—I look up and I'm going, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> you know, you're going to leave me with this guy, right? And uh, but he was really quiet and calm and easygoing, and uh, you know, we, we went into this almost little closet, sitting knee to knee with amps up to the ceiling, and. Uh, uh, you know, and, and, and that guy taught me how to play. I took, uh, lessons from him for about, uh, uh, for, you know, a couple of years yep. and, uh, and he was one of my favorite dudes and I've looked for him on Facebooks. Uh, you know, I, I would really love to say, man, you had a profound influence on my life. You know, I'm a lifetime musician and, and this guy really helped me get going. And, uh, uh, you know, it was really cool, and this guy could play too. Man. Yeah, he could really play. Was he like in in bands and stuff in the oh, area? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. He was in a rock band, and and uh, he was he was probably a young guy, but I was a kid. I don't, you know, I don't right. know. Yep. But uh, yeah, I played. Uh, I've always played guitar, and then I started branching out. I I play like seven different instruments. So now to different. Degrees. You playing guitar though? That's like extracurricular, if you will. Like that wasn't like in school or anything associated with school, correct? that's that's right yeah so were you just, in like band or, or orchestra or anything like that in school uh no but if i had to do it over i would have been in band and played some sort of horns i love the horns yeah, yeah. oh yeah well so for me I, I i did both i did orchestra starting in like fifth grade in in early middle school and played viola um and then i went into band and um you know they gave you the list and and you're supposed to take the little box and check which one you get like two or three choices which instrument you'd like to try and, um, you know, my dad is a drummer. And so I, I was like, oh, cool. I'll play drums in the band. And I look on the list and it doesn't say drums. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll pick trumpet. And I picked trumpet and I, I quit after six months because I was too stupid to know uh, at that ripe young age that uh, drums and percussion is the same thing. You idiot. <laughs> so, yeah, I missed out. So, yeah, I was more active in orchestra than in band. So uh, that being said, Jason, is there any instrument that you don't play that you wish that you did? Oh, I'd love to play the saxophone. Oh, really? And I've got a saxophone. It's it's all beat up and it's going to take take 400 bucks to get it fixed. But um, it's probably good enough to get the job done to learn on, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have never been. I mean, the only instrument that I can blow is the harmonica. You know, and and uh, you know, I've I've got a trombone. I, I had a trash man come by, and and he he had I don't know how he knew I was the, a musician, but he came by and hollered at me one day and said, "Hey, come on over here." I went over there, and uh, you know, he was picking up my trash, and he says we're not supposed to do this and I can't keep it because it's against the rules, but I've got this, he pulls out this case and it's a, a brand new brass trombone. Look, I mean, it wasn't goes, rusty. It wasn't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you caught that. God, I'm so glad you caught that. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong. I like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Oh. No, no, he said, I'm a, you know, I hate to crush this in the trash truck, but you can have it. And I said, hell yeah, I'll take it, you know? And, and uh, you know, I took it in and I'm, rawr, 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 rawr. I never did learn how to play that. You know, my, you know, right. My hands do it. My mouth doesn't. So what you're saying is you suck. You don't blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, walk back to that. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, man. Uh <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> Tom's back from tiptoeing through the tulips. Yeah, I'll let you guys go back to that. Just, <laughs> right, right. I'll back this is great content right yeah, here. You I'll missed out. I'll go back out. down to the waiting room, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay, so, um, J- um, Jason, you've been in multiple bands. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Cadillac Jack. Cadillac uh, Black. I'm sorry, Cadillac Black. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, Soul Deville. Yeah. Um, and you've you've played bass with, and those you played keyboards and sang, and then you stepped in and played bass with Steve Moeller recently. Yeah. Um, tell us about what what's up your sleeve. What's new as far as uh, Jason West and the music scene? Well, I had a band going, and and we were working some stuff up, and and uh, uh, and I I just got this call out of the blue. You know, somebody I had an old uh, um, uh, flyer at the music store saying I'm looking for a band. I play, you know different instruments whatever you need you kind of a utility player and uh you know just got got a call a couple weeks ago saying uh well we've got an established band we're playing gigs and and uh um i said well what kind of band do you have well it's kind of a you know old rock soul band and we got a full horn section trumpet sax and trombone and i'm like Oh wow, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that that is a full horn section. Yeah, That's great. That, that is a bucket list for me. You know, I'm right. I've I've always had to play the horns on my keyboard, which is, you know, it's just not the same as as brass. Yeah. And uh and so I said, Well, I'll I'll come out and, and uh you know, send me your song list and I'll work some up and and uh I'll come out and check it out. And uh, and so that's what I'm doing right now. And the name of that band is? Uh uh Gary Moore? Uh Gary Gary Turner. Gary Turner. Experience. There you go. Gary Turner Experience. And yeah. uh GTE. Uh, <laughs> which you could give me the initials and I still <laughs> wouldn't get that. <laughs> Just trying to make it easier hey, a little bit for you, brother. Song. Play it backwards. I still wouldn't get it. <laughs> Experience Turner Gary. Uh, okay, so real quick, I wanna I wanna interrupt here. Um Elk is Elke is saying, um, how do we get closed captions to shop, stop showing? Uh Al incorrectly says click on his nose <laughs> dev klein correctly says uh go to the three dots at the top That's of the screen great, the setting is uh in there so yeah or if you just got it muted it probably is automatically generating it for you on on facebook um okay so uh jason with all the bands that you've been in um do you prefer covers or originals and why uh oh that's kind of hard to say i've been in 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 a couple of original mostly cover bands um my claim to fame is from an original band. I got to, uh, I was in a country band, uh, and we got to open up for uh, uh, Alan Jackson. No kidding. Yeah, it was a road did band. You, did you play down by the Chattahoochee, or uh, <laughs> where was that? Show? Yeah, way down yonder. Yeah, down yonder. Uh, uh, it was in Kansas City, and 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 we had been we we put out an album. Uh, our, our, we made a CD. One of the clubs we were playing it just fully financed a CD with Lou Whitney downtown. Oh, really? And, uh, uh, and, and we had like 12 originals put out this CD and, and we felt like rock stars everywhere we went, they, you know, asking for our autograph on the CD and I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we've made it. And we, we got a little bit of airplay on a crackle and AM ra- uh, radio station, yeah. you know, a couple of the tunes and, um, and we would go out on the road for about three weeks and come back to our day job and everything. And, uh, you know, we'd play like five nights a week at a, at a road uh uh band uh-huh. club big right. club you know and and they'd put us up at a uh uh you know in a band house and yep we like talked it, about that just recently on one of the episodes yeah that, that used to be a thing oh that yeah people used to like almost have like where it was known locally to to musicians passing through hey go to the go to the to the roadhouse or to the band house and like everybody knew where it was kind of thing everybody knew yep. where it was and sure yep. enough after the gig knock 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 we're here to party <laughs> yeah and so we'd, yep. we'd, we'd play We'd play the gig, and then we'd, uh, uh, you know, party all night, sleep all day, and then wake up and go to the gig. And and three weeks of that, man, you talk about exhausting. Yeah, well, three weeks takes about six months out of your life when you're doing it that way, yeah. yeah. No, and now that you say that, too, I feel like I have seen pictures, whether it was on Facebook or something, of you in a cowboy hat and, like, a button-up, like, the whole thing. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I try to, you know, if I'm playing in a country band, I've I've put on the cowboy hat, you know, that's back when I so had So you're hair. saying you like to look professional and look the part. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's just too. We many. might have we might have talked about that a little bit on the last episode. Imagine there's too many bands showing up in shorts and t-shirts. Oh, preach, you know? brother. Hello. And uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Look, look Boom. the part. Look like you're gonna put on a show. Right. Look like you give a damn. Look like you belong on stage, not out in the crowd. And that's what I loved about uh, Soul Deville. I mean, yeah. we just did it up '70s. Sometimes we'd do a, you know, a, a um, hippie 
show. We'd all dress. I even had a wig with long hair because no, hi- no hippies are bald. And know? I have seen that. And that yeah. with bell bottoms is quite the combo. Oh, yeah. Bell bottoms, the platform soles. And, and, and we got a lot of feedback from the crowd saying, you know, just love the outfits, you know. Right. And, uh, you know, it just goes part of the show. And, and, and the girls had their little choreography dancing going on. And, and yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. Had, huh. a, had a great time with it. <laughs> the, uh, the saga of Elky continues. Now I have no sound. Um, maybe hit the speaker button. Maybe it's just muted. Um, I don't know. It's the three dot problem. Yeah, it, it is a three dot problem. It's a three dot problem. Um, <laughs> Amy, Amy Oberbeck says Tom has a way of making things short and sweet. GTE sounds sophisticated when Tom Embry says it. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Uh, <laughs> sounds oh, technical. Elky says uh, thanks, Deb Quine. Okay, so I think she got it. Uh, same thing happened to me. Jared told me how to fix it. Hey, okay. So, um, oh, there's more. Uh, J- <laughs> there's a new podcast for you. Amy said, "Did Jason West party with his coffee? Hardcore." Oh, uh, that was that's that's when I was uh, drinking. Uh, well, I had a severe drinking problem, and it, and I uh, Irish admit, coffee. I had fun, you know. Right. <laughs> right. Well, there's a reason why you know you you drink coffee now, and you don't you don't uh, spike it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've been through all that. I've I've done enough of that to for, to last a lifetime. I've been 17 years sober. Awesome. And, awesome. Uh, man. Co- coffee is my last vice that I probably will keep till I till till my last days. Well, I know? would say that your your body processes coffee way better than it does the toxicness of alcohol. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> really? As fun as it is. Oh, I think so. Who started that rumor? Uh, I don't know. I tell you, uh, <laughs> I, whoever it is, they were probably in the bathroom while they wrote that. Coffee down. Industries. Who started that rumor? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yes yes yeah. i agree Speaking even though life. i don't know how you get through uh an hour show this is my fourth cup of coffee i'm getting a little jittery and i gotta pee really bad <laughs> all right we'll keep we'll, we'll uh i've got one more question here for you and then we'll we'll take a quick break so you can you can run to the uh little men's room okay. um and and see if your aim is any better than chris hankins <laughs> well okay. um <laughs> okay well. I, I take that back I've, I've got two questions for you okay um so if you let me let me back up. In my opinion, and I've said this on the show before, but I always like to predecess this with this. I consider a cover band and a tribute band to be two different things. Oh, yeah. Um and so to me, a cover band is like a broad, like, you know, like we cover seventies music or we cover seventies and eighties, whereas a tribute is we cover the Bee Gees, you know, that kind of thing. Um so I say that to say, Jason, if you could be in any tribute band, if you could pay tribute to anybody, who would it be? Leonard Skinner. But really? I, I wouldn't play the tunes everybody wants to hear. Tom has the same reaction that internally. I mean, it, just wow, <laughs> right, I get that right, totally through I, me. I, I wouldn't I've play. I've got to hear this. I've got to hear this. Now, I wouldn't man. play. Give me three steps. I wouldn't play. Sweet Home Alabama. I wouldn't play. The breeze. Well, who the hell would pay to pl- to see that? <laughs> you you would play. Yeah, you would get yelled at <laughs> so much from the stage. <laughs> here's right. what. Here's what band I would pay tribute to. But I wouldn't do this song. I wouldn't do that song. I won't do that one. Yeah. That's so. That's Sorry, a great. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. I love now, that, now there's one. There's one thing that you could say to redeem all this, and that is if you just play Freebird on repeat for four hours. <laughs> Listen, stop right now. now. I Listen, do, you I, stop right I, now I, with that, Jared. There's I'm always that, that guy in the crowd, you know. <laughs> stop that Freebird crowd. Hell, in the disco <laughs> free band, free the bird. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. In the disco band, people would holler free bird. Oh, of course. I mean, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. They probably that's, they that's probably passive aggressive. They probably right there. told you they needed more cowbell as well. I mean, it's just a thing. Yeah. I mean, they've just got so many great songs that they don't play on the radio. You know, if you're into album rock, you know, uh, Skinner has so many great songs. Um, you know that you you just don't hear anymore, and just incredible guitar work. Yeah. And and I Truly. love to play that kind of stuff. So and early on into me getting out of like the country and 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 that kind of thing, R and B type music that I grew up listening to, uh, Leonard Skinner was one of the first rock bands that I was introduced to, and that was one of the first two slash three guitar um, bands that I was like, wow, like to have yeah. more than one guitar and really feel that sound like oh, yeah. amazing guitar work. Um, Amy Oberbeck says, uh, great job, Jason. Chris says, uh, great job. Elkie also says, good job. Hey, I'm doing good. So yeah. Um, do I get a point for that? You get three points. You get three points. Um, Judges. I want the judges. I just pulled the head. Judges. (laughs) I am getting screwed again. Okay. Okay. This is ridiculous. (laughs) Okay. So, and, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll explain this one. Terry Jones says, uh, uh, wait, what's a severe drinking problem? Now, (laughs) 
<laughs> the reason that he says that is because he came and crashed our ACDC episode and was kind enough to bring along a bottle of Crown, which he <laughs> almost single-handedly polished off within half an hour. And, uh, ACDC and, and, approved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, Deborah says somebody needs to do that smell because it's a good song. Uh, it is good a point. good song. It, it is. is a good song. It is. I think, I think people are terrified of playing anything in Leonard Skinner because I don't even know why. Uh, maybe they're afraid that it's going to heighten the chances of them hearing a uh, chance for that one song that we won't name because Tim Tom Hembry is here. Um, Ray Bird. Uh, so stop. Sorry. All right. Um, so hey, by the way, have you got have you ever met Leonard? No. <laughs> I love asking people that question. Are you talking skinny Leonard? <laughs> no. <laughs> when people are just like, have you ever met Leonard? <laughs> people who really don't know about the baby. Have you ever met Leonard's the greatest guy? Just. I'm I'm giving you this look, and you know that he is actually a real person, right? Yeah, yeah. he was the yeah. uh, coach. He was no. a PE instructor. In I mean, fact, just a week or two ago, he would, have, he would have been celebrating a birthday. Um, we did. He was included on a show. Um, and yeah, he he uh, named the band. His name was Leonard Skinner. He the, did not like rock and roll, and he hated those long-haired hippies. He, he gave was them, not in yes, the band. He gave them no. He was not. Right. He gave them, was... He gave them detention for having long hair. And back then, long hair was like you know here. <laughs> yeah, it was like a, it was like a, an anger strike. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, Jason, I will let you go and use the little boys' room. We're going to take uh, one more. Uh, I, I think we're going to. No. I'm going to be in know. there a while. We're talking about this is five cups of coffee. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> let me see here. Um, Jared's going to make me play a game by myself. <laughs> so I'll still lose. <laughs> right. That's what's really bad. All right. So, uh, yeah, Jason, if you need to take a quick one, um, you can, or you can. You can Drop a deuce? Yeah. Well, as long as you borrow a diaper from Tom. <laughs> It's not a diaper. <laughs> okay, sorry. An adult uh, it's an, undergarment. It's a very thick. Are you wearing pair of panties? Underwear. It's a thick pair of underwear. Okay. <laughs> I like the I like the way the smell feels on my body. A different kind of underoo. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that smell. <laughs> yeah, you need to go to the bathroom now. Uh, Josh Bull says a Skinner tribute band that doesn't play the hits. What would you call ourselves? The Unbookables. <laughs> That's, that, three that's, actually, that's three, actually a good name for a well, band. Right. When you when you played, uh, you know, when you played Sweet Home Alabama every week, Friday and Saturday night for thirty years. <laughs> Even Skinner doesn't want to play those songs anymore. Come on. Well, Skinner's a cover <laughs> band now, but uh, right. Uh, as with many bands, you of the know, era. you just described hell there for a second. I mean, you? I've been in rock, <laughs> blues, and country bands, and they all play the same, uh, same. Yeah, they do. You know, yep. top tunes. I mean, if if I see a band that plays "Sweet Home Alabama," I'm gonna go out for a smoke. You know, I've heard it. I've played it on every instrument. I've sang it, and and I'm, I'm you're it, over. It's it. a great it's still song, no but fun. it's just overdone. You know. Yeah. Uh, no, I get it. I get it for sure. Played um, it on every instrument. It's still no fun. <laughs> Even at once. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I played the whole thing. Um, Chris says, uh, Josh Poole, the hungry hippies, LOL. Yep. Um, okay. Um, hey, we better Jason, let him go to the bathroom. Man. Yeah, I was going to say, this is your last chance for a bathroom okay. break. So I mean, I'm sitting right here beside him. Okay, let's get this <laughs> Right, yeah. Up. We don't want to flood the new studio. You, got, you guys just... don't talk about me when I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. No. He's gone. Okay, go ahead. All right. What do you think about that Timothy Broadbent? <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, he's not watching. He's actually right. out of helping doing some. We can talk yeah. crap all we yeah, want, of so course, it's fine. You know. yeah. yeah, Tim. <laughs> he can only play the sax a little bit. Right, a little bit. A little keys, a little sax, a little something. A little something. something. Uh, <laughs> uh, by the way, earlier, uh, wherever it went, Josh Poole asked, you know, since we did songs in reverse next week, since we're doing photography, are we going to have to guess the negative <laughs> of the of the photo? I would uh, do much better. <laughs> yeah. I would do much better at that. Trust me. Uh, Al Hutch just says, next week with TBA, uh, free beer tomorrow and shot glass. The unbookables. Yeah, it sounds like a killer lineup. Yeah, I'm I'm in. <laughs> that sounds like a happy hour at some dive bar. Right. Yeah. Um, shot glass. Yeah. Uh, so Tom, I don't know if you caught the episode. We did a, a covering cover segment, and there was a band called Shock Blast, and they were god awful. And so uh, it was deemed that, that we would call them Shot Glass from here on out. So there's always a shock. You know, it's like. Hey. Right, it's like the Freebird chant call out. Like everybody's like shot glass. Hey, so, which what I would I, rather have shot glass than Freebird. Just saying. Thank you very much. And if we could not re, if we could not use the word Freebird again the rest of the show, I'm um, good with that. Caged. Um, 
uh, uh, or just call it avi- mammal. How about uh, what, aviary? Oh yeah, caged aviary. Yeah, real catchy. Um, okay, yeah. so <laughs> rolls right off the tongue, kind of like yeah. GTE. Right, <laughs> just rolls right off. Sure. Hey, he's back. That wasn't bad at all, man. Wow, wow. man, that was mighty quick. Wow, mighty quick. Um, okay, so. Let Jason get all settled in here, and uh, we He's will... He's drinking more coffee, thank Oh, goodness. perfect. Hey, by the way, Tom, what do you think of the uh, the coffee that we're drinking today here at Classic Rock Coffee? Well, today I believe we're drinking Breakfast in America. Breakfast in America. One of the... Oh, my God. Wait what a minute. A, I don't a, think it goes... What a, no, throw, we're, we're drinking... What a throwback. Do you remember that um, um, on your episode, Tom? Where we Living listened... in America yep, was a you... song of that, and it was from Rocky Two. Correct, and you remember the guy that redid it—the guy that had a PhD in something. The um, he's like, no, hang on, hang on, stop. I know his name. I think. Um, well, James Brown. James Brown. Yes, James Brown. That's yep. correct. Um, Tom, I just got a, a <laughs> message from. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a message. <laughs> uh, James Brown. You have, you have to do that after you say James Brown. Say, <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> I was high on life. <laughs> um, Tom, could you let uh, Tim in? I think he's downstairs. Oh, come on in, Tim. I'll come get you. <laughs> Thank God you get the original now. Oh, yes. Tom, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I have I have a clappy thing, but I'm afraid it'll... Well, we'll go for it. Who cares? That's for Tom. Tim Tom, Schaefer, Hembry, thank you very much. <laughs> and he lets in a perfect time. Free bird, free bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sherry says, I actually really love free bird. Same. Now, I do like free bird, now, especially the end where you just jam on it for 20 minutes. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, um, and, and that's a lot of fun. I, I, you know, a lot of bands, you know, you know, they won't play free bird because there is, uh, you know, just a huge, you know, unless you got a couple of guitars or just one amazing guitar player, it's you know? a lot to fill. It's yeah. a lot to fill. Yeah. Yep. Um, if you haven't, I would suggest that you go on YouTube and look up the demo version of free bird. It is really good. Um, where that ending part is, is, yeah. is a lot different. Um, so you could tell that once they got in the studio and got a producer, like it got in the direction where, you know, it now, but you should hear it to hear like what Leonard Skinner had actually saw for that end part, because it was, it was a lot different, but similar, but just, I really enjoy it. Huh. Um, I'll check it out. Uh, sorry, Tim, you're trying to call me and I'm doing a show. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute when Tom lets you up. Okay. Um, Brian says it was from Rocky four, but whatever. I'm not sure which Rocky. I do know it was from Rocky. Uh, okay. So it was Rocky four. Take that Tom Hembray. Um, back in the day, people yelled at the band playing, play Freebird. I, uh, for one, am tired of Freebird. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us how you really feel, Elky. <laughs> Shambo, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. That's of the, another one. I'm not a fan of the cover of that either. That's Sorry. A, that's another one. Yeah. I just, just worn out. For sure. How you doing? Hey, there's the man. Oh, bad deal. Bad deal. Sorry to hear that. Sorry I had to ignore your call. I was over here doing a show. <laughs> Everybody, please give it up for Mr. Tim Broadbent. Tim, how's it going, man? Good, man. Good. Thanks for for uh, being here. Go ahead and throw some headphones on. Bring that microphone close to you. Been on the run all day, man. Woo. Yeah, it sounds like you've had a heck of a day. Well, I've seen you play several several times, but I've never met you, and, and it's a pleasure to get to get to meet you. Well, yeah, nice to meet you too. Killer thank you, thank player. you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's a uh, player. Thank you for sure. And and um, I've only Tim had a. Uh, one occasion of being able to work with you and that was uh for i i was i can't remember for sure what the circumstances were i think that you guys probably played with the dirty saints because it was at shuffle and i was running sound and uh yeah i I, that was the first time i actually really got a chance to be right up front and watch you play and dude you are you're a phenomenal talent well thank you very much yeah absolutely um i i will uh before we go to our next game i want to recap with just a couple of questions real quick for uh tim Mm -hmm. um and and I don't know if you watch the show, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start hard and heavy with these uh, <laughs> with right. these questions. All right. What is your and I know you're a health nut. Yeah. So uh, what is your favorite flavor of pop tart? Uh, if you were forced to eat a pop tart, what flavor would you go for? Uh, some 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 sort of berry. Same. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. You're, you're on the right side of the aisle as far as yeah. I'm concerned. At least you're gonna get some vitamins <laughs> and minerals out of the berries. Uh, right. Yeah. So out of whatever substance it may be. Oh yeah. yeah. The health food pop tart. um okay so um let's see here did you uh play any instruments while you're in school tim oh yeah what because i know you're a you're a big time multi-instrumentalist as far as you i've seen some of your facebook videos where you're playing different kinds of horns and whatnot i know you play sax and and keys and sequel dose yeah what all do you play and what all did you play in school uh well my mother started me on piano at age three 
Um, wow. Took formal piano lessons for about 12 years and then fell in love with the saxophone, of course, in elementary school, fifth grade band. Yeah. And then I was in jazz band in junior high and, and high school and fell in love with that. Um, then you start hearing all these saxophones on the radio back in the 70s and 80s, back when horns got solos. Yes. Yes. And, and rappers. And is that what didn't. made you also fall in love with like the disco and funk kind of? Oh, yeah. Stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. That stuff yeah. was on the, on the radio when I was growing up. And uh, I was in love with jazz. And I then I looked into the history of, you know, when the jazz players lost their gigs, they had to go somewhere. And so they went to the funk bands. Gotcha. And it was just natural progression for them. And that's a natural progression of jazz, too, in my life. Mm -hmm. I started with jazz. And then I got to form a funk band, 70 funk back in the day. Uh, I knew that was my niche. So whatever band I'm ever in for the rest of my life, it's got to be a presence of some sort of horn. And for me, it's saxophone mainly. I can also play flute, um, yep. keyboards as well. Um, on my home studio stuff, I try to play all the instruments I can. Uh, so like drums, um, bass, some rhythm, rhythm guitar. Uh, and I was going to say, I, I have seen pictures online of you playing guitar. I've never seen yeah. you play guitar, but yeah. I know that you're able to. So I choose to leave that to the pros out in public. <laughs> hey, that's totally <laughs> fair, man. I'm and props to you, and, and not just to you, anybody with that frame of mind that says, yeah. yeah, I can play, but maybe I shouldn't be like the, the go-to guy for this. Right. You know, right. That's at, at home, I can do as many takes as it takes to get it right. A hundred percent on stage. You have to nail it first take. Yep, and that's not my wheelhouse. I admit that. Yep, no, uh, and, I can do and, that. I can do that on flute, uh, saxophones, vocals, and keyboards all day, but not going to step into the uh, the stage quality of musicians that I should be playing with and hiring instead. Right, <laughs> right, so. yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, the uh, the watchers of the show are going to want to know: Are you a, uh, a what we call a clarinetista? <laughs> do you play the clarinet? Oh no, I stay away from that thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you get a yeah. reputation playing that. <laughs> just saying. It, it, it makes you sound like this when you play. It's bad. Oh yeah, it's just that's too nasally. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get that. Um, okay, so Tim, covers or originals, and why? Uh, each have a place. Each okay. have a place. You have to read your crowd and your demographic. That's okay? fair. Uh, Springfield has warmed up to the ideas of originals, but it still is not going to pack the house like a good cover I would band. agree with that. I would agree that people are like kind of more open now, like, okay, God, we've heard all the 80s that we can hear. Like, yeah. what else is there? Right. So I agree. Right. We're, right. We're, we're starting to kind of open that door a little bit, um, right. but you're right. You have to kind of read the crowd and know on the fly, like what's exactly. going to strike and what's shame, not. Shameless plug on that, uh, okay. on that uh, t topic. If you do like originals, I do have an album out on uh, iTunes and Apple Music and Amazon Music and uh, Spotify. Really? Uh, 30 originals, um, a lot of instrumentals. Dang. Um, and I play all, most all the instruments on the whole album. Prince was my, well, Stevie Wonder and Prince were my inspiration. 30 songs on one album. So is this like uh, Use Your Illusion 3 and 4? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's, it's like the whole Matrix. Right, right. 1, 2, and 3. There so you, you write uh, too. I do write, yeah. I've, I've had a home studio for about 15 years. And what I've, this album is 15 years in the making, basically, because I wow. took all the old songs that I recorded in my first home studio, and now that technology has been upgraded, I had to re-record them again. Right. And make the, them sound the CD quality. Yes. In the, in the meantime, you know, 15 years have passed, so I wrote a lot of, a lot more songs. So I probably got... Did the songs that are that old, did you leave alone, and like structurally and, and that kind of thing? Or did you kind of uh, rework parts and that uh, kind of thing? I left them alone, basically, except for maybe redoing the solos, you know? Cool. I, I'm glad to hear that, honestly, yeah. because and that's like the nature of an artist, right? Whether it's a musician or, or you know, somebody that paints or whatever right. is to, you know, have a, a drawing or a painting in the closet and then bring it out. And you're like, you know what? Actually, I need a tree right here. And like and then it's not the same thing. So right. I'm glad right. that you left it alone. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, the name of the album is Good Sax. OK. Right? And the artist name, my artist name for uh, this album is Timmy B. Timmy B. Yeah. OK. So if you um, search that on any of those platforms, you should be able to find it. Very cool. And yeah. um, I'll talk to you about it after the show, too. Cool. But um, I would like to have maybe a song or two that I can play on, on the air you know and, it, and kind of, you know, let people hear a little bit of it. So, yeah, um, absolutely. Very cool. OK, so um, and by the way, um, you, you brought up a good point there. Do you prefer Tim, Timothy, Timmy, Timmy or or what do you prefer? <sighs> Or hey, do you have a preference? I just prefer, hey, dude. Hey, dude. All right. I like that, and I'm going with that. Um, okay. Um, What's up, bro? <laughs> well, it sounds like you you had music in your life from a very young age. I did. Um, but I want to ask, if if not a musician, what would you be if uh, you followed your childhood dream? Hmm. Well, well that's a good question. Thanks. Um, 
Thanks, dude. Actually, you know, I my career was not music. Uh, I'm a physical therapist, by the way. By right, uh, by day. So, mm-hmm. yep. I just, just go back to your question. Um, I kind of wanted to be a professional musician and not do only that, but my my mom and dad are music educators, retired from Springfield Public Schools, and they're like, "It's so cutthroat of an industry. We don't want you to end up like us and just being a teacher." Gotcha. You choose a career. They wanted more for you. Th- right. Choose right. a career that's going to be able to support your music habit. <laughs> and Fair. so it's worked out very nice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. No, that's that's great. Um, very cool. Okay, well, um, we are going to go ahead on to the next game. Um, Tim, I don't know if you're familiar with the show, but that's really the gist of the show was we're going to play some games, have some fun, do some stuff. Okay. If you get right answers, cool. If you get wrong answers, that's all right, too. Uh, okay. It's just about having fun. So I've been getting wrong answers all <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Oh, man. Okay, well, this one, thankfully, there is no right or wrong answer. This is just opinion. Okay. Um, so this is kind of how the show was born, if you will, was uh, this is a seed of an idea for uh, what the Audio Roast podcast became. Um, and it's a segment called Covering Covers. And what we're going to do is watch some other people from other parts of the country and the world uh, do cover songs of, um, appropriately for today's show, disco and funk songs from the year 1977. Ooh. And we're going to either roast them or toast them, um, depending on on uh, our moods. So, um, there you go. Um, so, let's go ahead and go to our next game. Oh, right. This is covering covers. So, fellas, if you are familiar at all, um, you might remember a, a show uh, back in the day, uh, Press Your Luck, you know, whammy, no whammy, stop. It's the same kind of thing. So I've got like a randomizer and it's going to do its little thing. And whenever you feel good about it, just tell me to stop and we'll take that video. Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, Tim, since you uh, are here, I will let you go first. Um, so whenever you feel good about this, you just tell me to stop and I'll make it stop. Ain't Gonna Bump No More by a band called Bump, of course, infamously done originally by Joe Tex. Um, are you familiar with the song, either of you guys? Ain't Gonna Bump No More. I was, I was trying to get Whitney Houston come back up. Oh, man, yeah. Dang it. Yep. I got you. And hey, uh, good call on it, too. She was a, a great artist. Okay, so um, before I, before I uh, hit play, I wanted to tell you that this video was uploaded in July of 2011, um, and it has 3,000 views and uh 131 subscribers um so with that being said um just on gut instinct alone um tim do you think that you were going to roast this or toast this probably, uh, probably roast it probably roast it okay um and uh jason what about you what do you think probably roast hey, hey my kind of folks i love it all right let's check it out ain't gonna bump no more by a band called bump I like it already. I see horns. Okay. I don't know how you could see anything. Like, where's stage lights? <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Not to be that guy. It's, two, it's 2011. There's no LEDs yet. Uh, true. Not massively uh, available, I should say. They're not bad. Let's see what they got. That's club lights right there. Yeah. I kind of hear some organ. Try it again. <laughs> oh, 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 good catch, good catch. There's the horn. Did 
Jared just made an amazing catch. <laughs> he was getting himself some coffee and, and, and just about backed up into the, pulled everything down. The lights, the monitor. The he camera. didn't spill his coffee. Okay. He's setting up the. Hey, it's me on. Uh, now I'm on both uh, <laughs> both channels. <laughs> there it is. Back. And I'm back. Oh, I know. Yeah, he's got an amazing studio here. You, I think you need your own carafe over there. <laughs> yeah, he has to he has to stretch and reach just to get a cup of coffee. That for... was not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> my whole freaking half the studio came crashing down. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoo, man, my whole life flashed before my eyes. I don't even know where I'm at. Anymore. It was a good catch, very good catch. <laughs> One handed, and I was like, "Oh crap! What do I do with this cup, cup of, of coffee? coffee in his hand?" And... It burns my hand. <laughs> Good lord. Well, we'll we'll fix the uh, the the Tim cam here in just a second. Woo, man. Oh man. Okay. So, what did you guys think of the song? Uh, oh, I like. It. I like it. I, I'm gonna take back my roast. It was not bad. It was not bad. Yeah. When the horns kicked in, I'm like, all right, all right. Yep. You're like, there it is. Yep, okay. Yep. Yeah. It looks like a band I'd like to see. Good. 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 Um, Tim, on a scale from one to five, what would you rate that then? Um, a three point seven five. Okay, we'll go with the three and a half. <laughs> uh how about you jason what'd you think well with the long intro and the breathing and everything I i'd probably give it a six. Oh, you're going to six well yeah. we don't have that so i'll flash the five a couple times oh, oh on, on one to five? <laughs> oh, oh, okay no i'm not gonna give it a six I, I, yeah i'd say about a three you okay. know I, I like them to get to the meat of it not i like a little more horns myself yeah yeah like it, it's cool to kind of have that vibe and stretch things out whenever you feel it but it doesn't always translate on camera and i found that out the hard way like i've had video of myself where you know the, the crowd is great and i'm like you guys are awesome and they're like yeah and you go back and watch it and you're like this is awesome that's how it sounds <laughs> you know it's the same kind of thing it's it just doesn't yeah it's kind of like a five minute guitar solo i love to watch great guitar players but to to, to see them just uh around and around and around and, and yeah you know, i'm ready to get back to the song yes you know? yes for sure um everybody predicted by the way that we would toast that and they were correct um josh pool says not bad four cups there you go not bad um <laughs> brian says uh, the new studio needs a new lighting and sound crew. Yeah, I think they uh, they, they nearly passed out and had a heart attack. <laughs> That's back when they had the big can lights that give you a sunburn if you're bald. Yes, and and yeah. heat the whole place up. Oh yeah. my gosh, the, it's the terrible. Par, the par par fifty eights. Par wait par fifty sixes. Fifty sixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank God for LEDs, yeah. man. Oh, I'm telling you, yeah, yeah. it's a way to go. Man. As long as you can keep them on their stands. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not let me in the room and let it like literally uh, there's like a hundred chords over there and i just tripped on one and that's all it took to it was a, the it, it, it was the master chord it was the master chord all right so uh let's try another one jason i will let you do this one whenever you feel good about it tell me when stop oh staying alive mm. buff Carell. my god have you guys okay and of course originally done by the bgs have you guys watched um buff Carell on the show before no mm. oh my god like people in the comments let them know what they're in for you guys are in for such a treat you have no idea um wow okay that's all i'm gonna say um do you think you're gonna roast it or toast it jason i'll probably toast it i love bgs same same um let me see if i can get the uh okay jason thinks he's gonna toast he's it gotta get the falsetto right or, yeah or i'm if out he sings it right. full, or i'm out if oh, he sees it tell? yeah if he sings it full full voice yeah. you know talking you, it out you gotta do it you know on the barry gibb show <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's check it out and see um, how Buff Carell is. Uh, oh, there's a comment. Let's see. Uh, Dev Klein says toast. Well, I'll, okay. Let's, uh, let's, here you go. That's all I can say. Here you go. Oh, no. Like, I want to go fix the camera, but I got to see her reaction. Oh, this. no. He's got the moves. Well, you can tell by the oh. way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Music loud and wind loud. Stick with the dancing. I'm going to rename this guy Buff Failure. <laughs> okay, here it comes. What? 
shake it when you stay in the light, stay in the light. Ha, 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 stay in the light. It's just, I wish I swear to God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. Where, where's the gong? I want to hit the gong. The gong show. Get him off. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Oh, we got another verse. Tim, would you be able to give this guy some lessons and, and help him out? Yeah, I'd say stick with working out. <laughs> so um, I asked if you'd seen this before because this is like his second or third appearance here on the show. He's actually, uh, according to his own Facebook and YouTube, he is a fitness model. Um, as you can see, he's got a poster of himself in the background. <laughs> he posed, uh, I went on his Facebook page and he has like over a thousand um, profile pictures. And they're like, you know, probably all like, oh. I like the big breath in the middle. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. Thank you. Um, yeah. So he has like a thousand pictures, but they're all taken like the same day. And he like just constantly is updating. He his was picture. having a good day. Yeah. But it's it's like, um, but it's like, here's a picture of him. There's a second picture. There's a third. Like, it's, it's, it's very, very not, uh, not very different at all. Okay. So, well, I would say this probably goes without. Uh, no, without how- no, no. No. Okay. I, I have to I, I have to get him kudos for the confidence. Yes. The dance moves. Yep. He can he, dance better than I can. He takes himself so seriously. Like this is not a joke to him. I mean, yeah. if if you can just uh you know, and you know, like on American Idol, my favorite stuff is the first episode where they have these people that think they're just all that and, <laughs> and, and, and they're terrible. Yes. And and uh and and I find a lot of entertainment value in that. So I'm gonna give him a two and a half. Oh, okay. Very nice. Good on you. That's some entertainment um, right there. Yeah, I mean, it is entertaining for sure. Two and a half from Jason. Uh, Tim? One cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. One cup. Yeah. That dude That dude is delusionally confident. Uh, perfectly, perfectly <laughs> Well, said. he grew up with his mom telling him, oh, you're so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Oh, we had a, a was it uh, two weeks ago, I think, we had um, a video that was uh, featured on the show, and it was this lady and apparently her husband had said the same kind of thing like oh this you, you do the song so great you should go and, and and record it and do it on youtube she's doing like all her own harmonies and all that which every every harmony was off uh <laughs> and it was like he is either like the the best husband in the world for supporting her or he is an absolute ass for throwing her under the bus <laughs> but yeah um um yeah uh, at least he's putting himself out there you know uh <laughs> cj says stay alive My ears. <laughs> five cups out of five, man. There you go. All right. So, uh, Tim, we'll bring it back over to you and let you have a, another crack at it. Stop. Got to give right. it up. All right. Marvin Gaye, right. as done by the Soul Family. Okay, let's hope. Um, uh, let's hope that we were gonna toast this one. I guess we we kind of we we toasted the last one, but kind of roasted it at the same time. So hopefully, this is something a little bit better. Yeah. Oh shit! Nice, nice, nice. nice. He's got the he's got the falsetto. Yeah, yeah. strong oh, harmony singers. I was too oh yeah, horns. Yep. To really get down. Now that's some falsetto there. But my body. Oh, he's got a head voice. He's got a good head voice, maybe. Soon. Come on, get him in there. It's gonna make romance. You gotta give it up. Nice arrangement. You gotta shake it off. Sounds like a 13 chord right there. You gotta give it up. Ooh, oh, yes. Got 
got to keep it, keep it, keep it up. Justin Moore though, needs to be watching this one. Right. And he does remind me of Justin, for sure. Justin needs to take these guys' licks. Nice. He's got really good runs going up, but he's also got really good runs going down, yeah. which are hard. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Way harder. Awesome. Man, that was so good. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, that was worth the uh, the whole incident. That was Yeah, that was worth the price of admission. <laughs> yeah. uh, Spilt coffee. The, the, <laughs> oh, all, know, yeah. all of it. All of it's it. all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it straightened out here. Um, <laughs> okay, Jason, what would you rate that one? I'm, I would give that six cups of coffee right there, awesome. man. That was tight. Awesome, good. Oh, the, the horns, the harmony singers, <laughs> man, that was that was it. If the it groove. Gets, my opinion, if it gets any better than, than that, I won't know what to do. No, like, that was really, really good. tight. For sure. Tim, what was your take on that? I will give that five cups with sugar and Irish cream. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, though. That was really, really good. Oh, yeah. That nice, was very so nice. good. Um, okay, so, Tim, let's um, let's have another crack at this. Um, oh, CJ says, five cups, man. Uh, man's got a voice and the production values. Yeah, that was yep. a really well-shot video, too. Good good on you for, for seeing that. A uh, talented group, but uh, there's a lot of post production. Not technically a live cover. Five cups. Oh, you might be yeah, right. Yeah, and that's, that's you might be right. Yeah, that's probably very true. I yeah. would pay to see that band. Exactly. I mean, yeah. if he, even if even if you did a hundred takes of those vocals in the in the booth, chops like that are going to show through in a live show. Yeah. So true. yeah. True. True. Um, okay. So Tim, you're up. Stop. Ooh, best oh, of my oh, love. Oh. I got the best of my. Oh, it's gonna be good. The emotions. Um, the Hadley Street Country Club. All right, let's see. Uh, this is a, a live studio cover band from South Australia. This was um, uploaded April of 2020, so just uh, you know, a handful of months ago. This has got, are you ready for this? 1.3 million views. Um, they pretty good, then. Yeah, they have 177,000 subscribers, so mm-hmm. let's check out the... Um, the horns better bring it. This is Earth, Wind, and Fire's horn section on this, on this yes. recording. They better bring it. Better bring it. Good mix already. If there's no horns on here, I'm going to be really disappointed. Uh, prepare to be disappointed. I don't see. I see bongos, but no horns. I see two keyboard players. So there's your horn section. Yeah, there's Boo. The horn section. Boo. <laughs> Tim just took a cup. <laughs> yeah. 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 Change of the chords too. song to cover vocally. They're doing nice. I don't know why that video froze. That was weird. Yeah. Um. Vocally on point. Yes. Just would, yeah. go ahead and, and just split the money up a little further and hire some horns, though. Dang it. Yes. No, without question. And in fact, uh, Rico was right here for that. He said, uh, no horns, 10. <laughs> I know, Rico. Dude, seriously. <laughs> ah, it's killing me. Yeah. When I hear a classic like that without horns, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. It, and you took away the best part. Not just a classic, but a band that was known for their horn section. Right. Like, yeah, don't don't. Uh, right. Yeah. That's a bad deal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, Jason, what did you think of that one? I loved it. Uh, well, we did that one in Soldaville, and and uh, and yes, I was tasked with doing the horns on my keyboard, and uh, I know what goes into it vocally. It's very high. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of harmony in it, and they they nailed it. Yep. They nailed it. 
I would I would agree with that for sure. Um, how uh, would you rate it? I'd I'd give it four. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Four cups. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's solid, but you, you mm. like I like I jokingly said, you do have to take something away for not having horn not section. Not having horn. In a, in a yeah. band that was known for horn section. Yeah. Tim, what about you? Likewise, yeah. When yeah. you when you take horns out of a out of a song, you're gonna get a cup of coffee taken yeah. away. I yeah. mean, you can put those horns in on the keyboard, but it's not like watching it, somebody actually play the horns. Yeah. There is something about it. Just glows. there's a reason exactly like what Tim was saying. There's something about having a horn section in a live band, and and you could see the progression from mm. big band and jazz, and it progressed into disco. Like there's some energy that is intangible oh. that happens when you hear and Next see. Level. Yeah, it's it's organic. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I think we've got uh, one more here. And so, uh, who who did that one, Jason? I think that was you. Is that right? Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. okay. So, Tim, uh, I'll give you this last one here. Whenever okay. you feel good. No. Ma Baker, uh, Sam Reader, writer, Reader is the one doing this. It was done by Boney M. Uh, are either of you guys familiar with the song? Not the song, but the artist. Yeah, Boney M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this video was uh, uploaded March of 2017 and has 33,000 views and 171 subscribers. So, let's check it out. Freeze! I'm a baker. Put your hands in the air. Give me all your money. This is the story of my baker. <laughs> the meanest gang from old Chicago town. Dick the vibe. Like a 30s, 40s kind of vibe. Oh, yeah. See, they're dressed up to play, right? Yeah. There. The hats, the dressing. Yeah, it just looks great. The, like ba the, ba the band really looks good. They do. They've updated the sound, too. This does not sound like a disco song. It sounds more rocked up, which is kind of refreshing. She was the meanest girl. She was the meanest girl. She really moved in love. She had no oh, heart. Borderline cheesy. No, no, no heart right, I would agree with that. The Although the drummer does look like a legit OG. She left for her husband flat. He was in love. She took her boys along. Cause they were mean and strong. My mama. My baby, she took her son. A little bit of uh, Lady Gaga in there for you. <laughs> My question is, why would anyone want to cover it? I would agree. Now, the original, um, I w and of course, you'll be able to hear this in the playlist that I make for the show after the show, but the original is actually a pretty good song. It's just kind of under everybody's radar. Almost a one-hit wonder, if you will. They left the trail of ground. Across the USA. And then one boy was killed. I do like the uh, the concept of an answer and call for, for the guts of the song. I, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. CJ says mix is kind of muddy, but I love the cheesiness. Four and a half cups. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is definite cheese. But uh, it's like, are they trying to be cheesy or are they trying to be serious? Like, there's a fine line there, and I'm not sure. Uh, how would you guys rate it? Uh, it wasn't the last band. I would give it a three. I I can go with a little bit of cheesy, uh, you know, and, and the and they looked good, good looking band. Um, if I had three female singers, I would pick harmony songs instead of singing in unison. Right, with the answer um, call, the back and forth and, kind of and thing. And I would say, you know, I I don't mind. You know, if you're going to stray from the original version, if you if you do it well you know a lot of bands rock things up a little bit you know if they do it well i'm good with it but you know yeah josh says uh the girls sound like banana rama <laughs> <laughs> yeah accurate um i think there's these it, are their it, girlfriends it, it did singing sound, back up it did sound more 80s than 70s it really did yeah okay. which you know again to be fair I, I i will give them an automatic cut for making it their own uh, now, whether that gets revoked or not, because it's good or not, is a different question. But I think it's good to to kind of put your own spin on things uh, at a certain point. Again, this is also another difference. Uh, Jason, you and I talked earlier about a difference between tribute bands and cover bands. A tribute band, you better play it as the band plays it. Yeah. A cover band, you kind of have that leeway. You could yeah. try to play it as is, or you can put your own spin on it. So I, I do appreciate that they gave it a try. Um, 
Yeah. So uh, what would you rate that one then, uh, Jason? Three cups. Three cups right in the middle. Okay. It wasn't the last band, that's for sure. No, exactly. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, the last two bands, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, how about yourself, bud? I'm going to be more like Simon Cowell here. I'm going to give him two cups. Oh boy. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't skirt. <laughs> two cups from Tim. All right. Um, let's see here what we've got next. We're going to take a quick little one-minute break, and we're going to come back and play one more game. Uh, well, maybe two. We'll see what we've got time for. I think we got... I'm going to shoot out to the bathroom again. You do it. And in the meantime, um, we are, for this next game, going to need uh, two participants online uh, to join here on the video. So uh, if you want to be on the uh, next game, Hashtag teammate will get you in. I need two people. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll be back in just a minute. Ooh, I shouldn't have drank some. All right, we are back. Uh, not all in black, but you know we're back at least. Um, so uh, let's see here, I think I've got coffee on literally everything in the studio. So we're gonna see if this uh, new studio sinks or floats. <laughs> uh, okay, that's what you call just getting them broke in. That's what we're doing. Okay, so let me go back over here to the uh, comments and see if we've got people wanting to play along with our game. Uh, Oh, Kim said uh, they look professional, but uh, no thanks. <laughs> All right, so I need two players. Uh, just hashtag teammate, and I'll know uh, that you are interested in playing our little game. Uh, and you will be included on video here on the show with us, so um, keep that in mind. So, um, dun, 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 while we wait on people, let's see what we've got here. I will say one positive about today is uh, all of the uh, new Facebook guidelines. Apparently, we've been inside the rules on that because I was half worried that we would get shut down, but we're aces. We're good. So that that's a relief. <sighs> Speaking of relief, this was a hard-fought cup of coffee, and I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> it's still good. Yeah, yeah. I think you need a uh, – here's a suggestion for your show. Get your, your own personal carafe I think you're there. right. I mean, so in my old studio um, – some people, uh, especially if they'd been on the show, they know that I had an entire pot of coffee literally for myself, and I would go through the whole thing. But yeah, I agree. I think we're going to have to up our coffee game over here. Yeah, um, and, and you know, on a Sunday Sunday evening, you put a full uh, carafe of uh, uh, classic rock coffee in front of me. I am not going to sleep at all tonight. <laughs> I'm going to drink the whole damn thing. And uh, yeah, I got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Nice. Nice. Um, so t uh, talk a little bit about that. Tim, you said that you're a, a physical therapist uh, by day, correct? Yes. How I long have. have you been doing that? 25 years. Wow, man. That's amazing. And do you, you, you still enjoy it? Yeah, I do. Very good. Yeah, I mean, I'll it's, tell you what, it's, uh, I, I work with geriatrics, so, you know, 
it's I have an endless supply of grandmas and grandpas right now. For sure. And a lot of them are the last genera- the last great generation. I have uh, some some World War II vets that I'm still taking care of. Oh, wow, is, man. They hear their stories, and uh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, Jason, how about yourself? What do you do by day? Uh, well, I had a home remodel business for 17 years, and then I kind of got one of my clients that uh, he kind of talked me into just just working for him, you know? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I do. I do a lot of, uh, um, repairs at the frat houses on Elm street. He owns about 12 frat houses and, uh, he just made me a sweet deal to, well, uh, I'm, I'm just, sure it being frat houses, it keeps you busy full-time. with all the repairs it's a full-time and all time the... job. I'm sure there's a rotating, uh, list of repairs at all times. Yeah. Full-time yeah. job. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the, these kids are, are hard on their houses. hundred percent. Sure. Hard yeah. on the drywall. I I, that's exactly what exactly. I was going to say. <laughs> I bet you do a lot of drywall. It, it's replacement. not as fun as kitchen and bath remodels, but it's right. You don't get as much out of it, but I'm, yeah, I'm 51 and it's, it's a lot easier work than tearing out somebody's tile, you know, a hundred percent. That's true. Yeah. Uh, still waiting on two people to join us for the next game. So in the comments, hit us up. Just saying. Come on, Kim. Um, come on, Deborah. Come on, Joshua. Yeah. Come on, Elk. Come, come on, Rico. If come you're on, still CJ. Watching. Yeah. Come on. Come on down yeah, to. Elk's uh, been there all, all the whole time. Yeah. Yep. And Elkie has not played a, a game on the show yet. So I would love to have some new players. Um, yeah. Everybody, by the way, has been roasting me and giving me so much crap because I say um and uh so much on the show and they're right. <laughs> so I'm trying to do better about it, but uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, uh, Rico's here. Rico, you want to play a game with this? I'm going to send you an invite. You're going to play right. whether uh, whether you like it or not. All right. <laughs> so uh, let me send this to Stone Rico. Chapel Band. And do this here. Uh, let me get some more cool chill music. While I do this. All right, so uh, I've got an invite sent out to uh, Rico. So whenever you get that, just follow the simple little instructions there, and we'll have you on the show. Uh, Springfield Band House uh, was around the corner f- from All Street, uh, Jason West. From All Street. What is All Street? I didn't know Springfield had a band house. Oh, yeah. So Scott Henry was on um, a few episodes back that, talking about he's the... He's a nut. Oh, dude. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, all equals Elm on Elm Street. Okay. I got a funny story about Scott Henry. Oh, do tell. Oh, I, I mean, do t- I'm, I'm taking notes. I'm writing it down. I I didn't know him. I, the, I met him... Uh, I was playing bass in my church band. Okay. And I was the only bass player. And uh, I was I was playing gigs every Friday and Saturday night and then then showing up for two services on on Sunday. And, you know, they wanted to practice on Tuesday. My band practiced on Wednesday. And it was, I was just getting wore out. Scott, sure. Scott shows up and is like, hey, I play bass. And so we started alternating. And me and him got to be, you know, buddies. And he's like... Uh, Man, you ought to come out and see my band. And I'm thinking, oh shit, man, I got the best band in town. You know, looking, you know, yeah, I'll come out and see your band. And uh, and so I went out there and saw the Dirty Saints, and I'm like, oh my god, man, these guys <laughs> are freaking killer, man. And uh, yeah, uh, so that that's how I met met, met Scott at, at, at church. And uh, uh, yeah, we've been we've been friends ever since. And uh, yeah, he's a killer player. Great stage presence, great personality. He is a, a stand-up dude, man, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And a, a thousand and one stories from the good old days. And oh, he's, I know. If you hear one on repeat, he is the kind of person, like, don't stop him and say, oh, I've already heard this. Like, it's going to be good every time. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's just a good story. And he knows the worst jokes. Oh, my God. They're yeah. terrible. They are. Trust me, they are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see here. Um, still waiting on Rico to, to sign in here and um, another player. I don't know. His band practices on Sunday. What's he doing sitting at home? Oh. That is not the right button. 
That's what I was looking for. I don't see how you can do this, uh, do, be on the show and do all the technical work behind the scenes. I mean, he is a busy guy. I am. And then not only that, like tear down half the studio and then rebuild it right in the uh, middle of the show. <laughs> you, you need a, you need a, uh, you need a helper. I do need a helper. So if you know of anybody, <laughs> send in your applications to the audio podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It is a one man show, if you will, as far as the behind the scenes and it is a lot of work. So, but it's, it's, it's enjoyable. I, I dig it. All right. So, uh, I don't know, uh, if anybody's going to join us, so I'm just going to Let's go without them. Yeah. You know, um, okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're fun haters. They are. Yeah, so, that's all. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> we, we can do this without them. All right, this is a little game called Virtual Password. Gentlemen, have you ever watched the old show, Password? Yes. All right, so this is just like, hey, there's Rico, my man. All right. There How's it going, is. Rico? Rico, hey, what man. Up, what up, what up? How is it going, sir? Doing good. 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 Let me, uh, let me redecorate this so that you can see us. Long time no see, friend. Excellent <laughs> drummer. Very. One of Springfield's finest right yeah. there. And you know not it. even Springfield's finest drummers, one of Springfield's finest people. That's, so, that's true, too. Lots of respect, Appreciate man. That. Appreciate that. How's the new puppy? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, good. <laughs> good. Somewhere, in the house. somewhere in the house. Oh, um, you're probably getting echo. Uh, hold tight one second. Let me uh, take that out of there. There you go. How old is the, how old is the puppy now? Uh, ten weeks. Wow. Very cool. Um, all right, um, Lisa. I'm going to send you an invite as well. Um, hold tight one second. Rico, did you have practice today? No. Had the day off. One of the few ones I get. <laughs> Aren't you in like three bands or something like that? I see you playing yeah. with everybody. Yeah, I'm in three. Playing two right now. Rehearsing with the third. How do you juggle all that? I've been in two bands at once, and I couldn't keep it keep it together. You give up uh, a lot to do it for oh sure. Oh my gosh! You, you put the you put the set list on a Spotify playlist, and you listen to it at work, and you run Constantly. through one set a day. There you go. Well, the dates and the gigs is what gets me in trouble. You know, I I can't. You know, it's <laughs> hard to keep up with. Same. Like whenever I was, I you know, I'm in an original band uh, called Death May Die. And where I do the face paint and the whole thing. And then I was in uh, Sunset Strip. And so I was wearing like 80s clothes. So I had to like refer to my calendar to know, do I need face paint? What do I wear? <laughs> you know, <laughs> where am I supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah, I got it lucky. <laughs> I, I just show up and play drums. You just show up and be be Rico, the badass. <laughs> and lay it down in the pocket where it belongs, man. Exactly. Um, Elky, by the way, Rico says hello. What up? So uh, we've got uh, Lisa Betancourt that is uh, going to be chiming in here with us, and we're going to get this game started. Um, Rico, do you remember the, the old show called Password? Uh, I think so. So, uh, and it used to be hosted, I think, way back in the day by Al Ludden, who was Betty White's husband. Uh, but they also play this on, like, um, uh, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Um, and, and have kind of brought it back. So I've taken it and put a spin on it myself and doing virtual password where we get the people, the guests in the studio involved with uh, people that are watching at home. So um, Rico, thanks again for being here, but thanks again for watching the show and tuning in, man. Like it's cool to see you on here and, and checking us out. Yeah. Uh, so whenever, um, whenever Lisa gets on here, I will explain the rules and she should be over here in just a second. Were you able to watch the uh, all the covering covers, um, Rico, and check the the uh, the cover songs that we heard? Yeah, I saw most of those, man. Some some of them were good. That buff dude, <laughs> what? That, that yeah. buff dude, need to just I don't know. That's what happens when you work. Out. <laughs> you he, know, you want him in your band. He needs to just stick to the push-ups, huh? I mean, you know, I, they need I, you need eye candy for some groups, you know. Hey, and, that, and that's true. You just gotta that's keep true. them away from the mic. 
Maybe he could just be a backup dancer. Maybe. No, well, no, no, he 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 could work the door. <laughs> hey, speaking of disco, I saw Casey and the Sunshine Band last time they were in town, and they have these four just beautiful women that just dance up there they just get up there and dance they you know he has the full horn section i mean just killer band yeah, that's has been his formula for decades yeah oh like, yeah the, and the dancers just step it up man you yeah. get it's very yeah. exciting huh very cool okay well here is lisa uh oh lisa gosh. how's it going welcome to uh, the show this is the ugly version of me oh uh, okay, so. hey turn can you turn your phone sideways turn my phone oh i forgot there you go at a girl Hey, all right. Well, welcome to the show. We are going to play some virtual password. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is how this is going to work. I have got uh, six passwords that we have got to guess, and we're going to go back and forth. I will pair you guys up. I will put uh, Tim and Lisa together on a team, and I will put jo uh, Jason and Rico on a team, and you guys will get each other to guess the password. So I'm going to jump over here and give my studio guests the password, and this is all passwords are one word, and you are able to give a one word clue to your to your teammate. Um, and then if they don't guess it, then it goes to the other team. So just one word. So hold tight. Don't tear nothing down, Jared. <laughs> all right. Now then, I don't know why that keeps undoing. <laughs> it makes no sense. Okay, so um, for those of us in the studio, you guys have the the password. I will let let me see here. Let me get a um, little card action going. And um, Jason, I'm going to let you and Rico go first. So uh, Jason, give your clue to get Rico to guess that password that's in your hand. Shoes. Adidas. Okay. No. Incorrect. Uh, and keep in mind, this is uh, all, all, all the games and stuff on today's show are disco uh, from 1977 themed. So, um, Shoes was the first one. Uh, incorrect. Tim, what's your clue for uh, uh, names? <laughs> Lisa. Good Lord. Total brain fart. So, the first clue is Shoes, and then I'm going to say Tall platform hey <laughs> somewhere i had a i had a graphic for that there we go platforms that is correct good job um okay and um let me see here now, in, in rico's defense in 77 adidas were hot as well yes they were <laughs> yeah without a question without so a question joshua pool just asked if i was his his daughter's drama teacher and absolutely i am there she you go. Nice. She's a great kid. <laughs> See if I can figure out what's going on with my uh, other computer over here. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, here's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm like, I'm prepared somewhere. I just got to find out where all my stuff is. Okay, so uh, Rico and uh, Lisa, there is a uh, function on this that is, uh, it says private chat, and I've just sent you the next password right there. So oh, they're, they've got the password. Okay. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. Um, so whenever you get it, let me know. I don't see anything. Right at the bottom, it should say uh, private chat. Oh, there we go. Wait. There we go. Okay, got it. All right. Um, and Lisa, I will let you go ahead and uh, give your clue to Tim. Oh. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Eager. I don't know. Eager? Good, but yeah. Tim, mm. any ideas? Eager beaver. <laughs> I like the direction. I do. I dig it. it. It's, it's a bad. It's a bad clue. I can think of it. <laughs> Rico's dying. He's like, how am I supposed to recover? <laughs> I, 
that was a bad clue. I have no <sighs> idea. Oh, that's fair. This is not an easy one. Okay, uh, Rico, your shot to try and get Jason to guess this. Dance. A. Uh, nothing comes to mind. <laughs> no dance from the Eater from disco era. Dance. Uh. No, I'm drawing a blank. Oh. Wow. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. Throw out, throw out one word, Jason. Any word. Um. The. Uh... <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Swing. Okay, there you go. Incorrect. All right, back at you, Lisa. Man, this is hard. Um, I'm still trying to get just the word. Okay, Rush. That's a great band, actually, that formed in the 70s. It is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with... Uh... Do the hustle. Hey! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Yay! Rico's got the same face that I had in the thought, like, how the hell did you go from Rush to the Hustle? I'll tell you how the <laughs> comment section. <laughs> I, I, I'm not blind or deaf. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and, of course, Sherry gets a point, a point yep, for yep. me Good for job. the Hustle. Good yep. job, Sherry. Good job. All right. Um, all right, guys, on your table, you've got uh, the third password there. And uh, Jason, whenever you're ready, we'll let you go first. Hair. Afro. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> right on the first time, man. Good that, stuff. Oh, very fine. Very fine. I was going to. I was going to. That was great. I was going to clue with blank sheen. Oh, OK. Yeah. Except yeah. for that would have been two words and you would have been. That's, that's, oh. that's two words. <laughs> DQ. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> right out of the box. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Um, so let me type up our second clue for you guys at home. All right. Okay. And uh, that is in there. So whenever you guys get that one. Uh, first of all, good luck. <laughs> I don't know how you guys are getting the harder ones, but you are. So my apologies yeah. for that. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, Lisa, whenever you're ready, I'll let you give uh, uh, Tim the first clue. Reflection. Now, is the uh, the password one word, too? Yes. Well, I'm going to go with a mirrored, like a mirrored disco ball. I'm going to give that to you. The the uh, password is the password is mirror. <laughs> For those of you familiar with the old show. Uh good job. Uh Rico, 10 out of 10. You're doing great, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um and uh guys here in the studio, you should have your uh, fifth clue. And uh Tim, whenever you're ready, I'll let you go uh give your clue to Lisa. <clears throat> Plastic vinyl. Hey. Oh, oh my God! How? How? Nice work! Holy Very cow, good. man! Very nice good. work, Lisa. <laughs> Woo, man! If she didn't get that, we were gonna have the next one. We we're gonna have it on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, and finally. <laughs> All right, and you guys at home should have your uh, final password. And Rico, I'm going to let you chime in here and take a turn. Wonderland. Disco. Oh, that was a good clue. Oh, um. Mm, nights. Hmm, swing and a miss. What was that clue? 
Yeah, nuts. Nice? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to clue off of Rico's hint. Okay. Bo Boogie Wonderland. Hey. Yep. Ah. Boogie Woogie. Yeah. Boogie Wonderland. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> they like comes uh, and we don't fall, still fall, do I'm fall, not very good at your games. Wonderland. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Jason. Yeah, that was um uh, mm, I would say Lisa carried a lot of that team over there. Um good stuff. Good job. Guys, thank you again for joining us for virtual password. Stick around for the rest of the show and thanks again for joining us. Rico, I'll see yeah. you Friday at our show. Sequel dose with the shuffle. Yes, sir. <laughs> there okay. you go. Bye. All right, thanks guys. All right. So, um, what have we got next on the agenda? I don't know because my notes went everywhere. So um, we're going to take a quick little uh, one second break. Well, okay, maybe closer to a minute. And then uh, we've got one final game before we call it a day. I have just one question. Have you thought about being a guest on the show? We are currently seeking music lovers of all kinds to join in on our fun. If you're interested in being a guest, or if you just have questions, comments, or suggestions, you can message us on Facebook or email us at the audio rose podcast at gmail.com. You can also submit any topics you'd like to hear discussed. All right. Oh, whoa. Somebody had to run off to the little boys room, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I mean, the, the coffee over here at Classic Rock Coffee, really and truly, like I would say this without a sponsor, is amazing. It but is. But holy cow, it's going. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what, this is not your day for gear. <laughs> it's like I need more coffee. <laughs> yeah, I am awake. <laughs> yes, same. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm like the Tasmanian devil. I'm a bull in a china shop over here. I got a funny. Uh, I got a funny story about the uh, classic coffee over here. When I went uh, back before I met Sherry and I was single, which by the way, congratulations, you guys just recently uh, tied the knot, right? Uh, no, we've been married for four years. Oh, you just made it. You just made it <laughs> Facebook official finally. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, a friend told me I could uh, find dates on POF, so I'd got I got on POF, and I, I you know I started you know lining up dates, taking them out to dinner and everything, and I'm thinking, man, this is getting expensive, you know, sixty bucks a pop, and I can tell within the first ten minutes if it's a love connection, you know. Sure. And so I decided, you know, this is the coolest coffee house, you know, in town. I I would I would say I would tell them, hey, well, why don't we meet for coffee at Classic Rock Coffee? You know, it's a real cool place. We'll sit and chat and have some coffee. Right. And so I'd meet them here, you know, and I was coming here all the time meeting, meeting chicks, chicks, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, and, and single guys listen up, uh, you know, I, I buy a cup of coffee, a couple cups of coffee, spend $7 and, uh, you know, and chat for 15, 20 minutes. And, 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 uh, you know, I could tell right now, you know, if it went good, I'd take them out to, to, to dinner. If, if not, it's like, Oh, look at the time, you know, it was nice meeting you, but it's not a love connection, you know? And uh, and you save a lot of money doing that. True. Yeah. No, that's very true. <laughs> and classic rock coffee, man. Yeah. There's you know, great place to meet. Even if your date doesn't go well, at least you're sucking down some some good some quality great coffee. coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll come here for a cup of coffee anytime. <laughs> Sherry Quigley says, uh, "FML, I take back what I said about being better when I'm at home." Yeah. So she was <laughs> a guest on the show, and she was like, "This is so much easier when I'm at home." <laughs> Uh, number seven, Afro man, hush. Okay. I will, uh, number seven, hashtag seven. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. I'm not, again, I'm not sure if I've got my seven or not, but I appreciate that. And I'm going to go through the list after the show and take my seven for seven. Um, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're going to do one more game here before we call it a day. Whenever, uh, Tim gets back and, um, uh, yeah, looks like I've, uh, as much work as I've put into this new studio, by the way, again, I, I said it at the beginning of the show, but a major thank you to Brian Betancourt and Anthony Cano for helping me. Uh, lug around all the crap that it takes to make this show happen. There is a and lot of stuff in here. There is. And can you believe that I used to have this crammed into a spare bedroom and oh made it gosh. work? Oh, my gosh. 
Um, but yeah, now I've got a, as much time as I took setting up. Now I have to redo it because over there on Tim's cockeyed camera, I uh, you know the the catch of the day, if you will, has made me have to redecorate the whole <laughs> the whole setup. So no worries. Um, okay, so Tim, we're gonna play one final game here before we wrap it up. Okay. Um, and uh, Jason uh, <laughs> earlier today, uh, even whether his band plays a song or not. As long as they play it on stage, he'll know the words. If it's something he just sings in his car, it sounds a little more like this. And then hey, I never said that. I, I have mumbled. <laughs> I have mumbled lyrics uh, uh, during a gig, and I have sang the the, the first verse twice. Uh, now that's know. the reason. That is literally. So I'm I'm good about memorizing lyrics. I'm bad about knowing as it's happening. Okay, does it start with this line or that line on the first or second verse and flipping that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm the worst about that. I used to put uh, cheat sheets down on the floor. Uh huh. With just the first two words of each verse. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly it. the same. That'll get you going. I'm good, good to go. Exactly the same. Yep. Um, so, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's get this second, or this second, this last game kicked into high gear here. Oh, yeah. A little finish of the lyrics. Um, and it really is as simple as it sounds. Um, so I've got a, a lyric and a song uh, from the year 1977, uh, a disco song. And... I don't know where in the song the lyric is going to be. It's almost like musical chairs, but wherever uh, I need you to finish this, the next line, basically, is how this works. So, um, Tim, I'm going to let you go first on this one. Okay. Um, here we go. <laughs> Band is Brick. The song is uh, Doozy. Doozy. Yeah. Are you familiar with this one? Uh huh. Awesome. It's a good tune, man. It really is. Yep. yep. Um, okay. If you don't want to stretch out, come find out what it's all about. Just get down, get down to the, or get down on, get on down to the. <laughs> uh, probably Duzik. Okay. Funky oh, okay. dance music. All right. Mm, all right. Close. I mean, it rhymed. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Huh. All right. That's fair. Uh, and by the way, it is hard for me not to sing some of these as they as they happen. Um, the Ritchie family, Quiet Village. Uh, Jason, are you familiar with this song? <laughs> you better mumble your way through this one, boy. All right. I'm a bit, my ears are perked up, and I'm listening close. <laughs> you sexy thing, you turn me on. And the next line is? I have no idea. That doesn't, I'm, I'm I, I have no idea this. doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Well, you better get good. <laughs> All right. I so, believe in miracles. There you go. Good job. That's what I'm looking for. That's a random answer. Uh, Tim, do you happen to know this one? So what's taking you so long? There you go. Keep rocking steady all night long. You're you're close. I mean, at least at least you swung when you're up to bat. <laughs> that's more of a bunt. Oh, there. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay, so hey, I've been striking out all day long. <laughs> hey, hey but you've been having fun all day long too. <laughs> Sacrifice. It bunt. is fun. This is fun. How yeah. about I come back next week? <laughs> Perfect. You want to push buttons for me? <laughs> you want to redecorate the studio like I did? <laughs> I'll, I'll stand. I'll stand around and catch things falling. Oh, I, if, I apparently need it. <laughs> I would bring everything down. Yeah. All right. Um, Tim, you're up. Okay. Yvonne Elliman. Uh, Hello, stranger. Oh. I know Goodbye Stranger. Same. <laughs> um, I will be honest, this one was not familiar to me either, but apparently it was on the top of the charts or somewhere up there, huh, okay. uh, according to uh, me old source. I'm so glad you stopped by to say hello to me. If, if you'll give me this next dance, I'll give you all of me. Oh, yeah. You heard it here first. Remember that that's the way it used to be is the correct answer. I actually, let's rewrite the song. I liked yours better. I was like, we could go a hundred different directions. Like we could get, you can give all of me or uh, take a knee or <laughs> yeah, yeah. take a knee. <laughs> Either way, the same goal is getting accomplished. Okay. Just don't take a knee like Tanya Harding takes yeah, a Yeah, no, 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 for sure. <laughs> uh, Jason, uh, Sheik, everybody dance. I, I, Great. You look, you look confident on this one. So I like chic. It's good stuff. Uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, music never lets you down. Puts a smile on your face. Uh, 
that's not a chic song i'm re- i'm familiar with <laughs> this is not so chic <laughs> You'll get down all over the place. Perfect. Oh, that was actually really cool. Hey, I got a word. Anytime, any place. You know what? I'm giving you a point. Hey. <laughs> nice, I, I'm, nice, yeah, nice. That, was, that was as close as it gets. Uh, by the way, Jason, Josh Poole says, call it classic connections. <laughs> uh, I like how Lisa's just saying funky town for everything. <laughs> Eventually, it'll stick. <laughs> all right, Tim. <laughs> oh, Teddy Pendergrass. Teddy Pendergrass. Can't hide from yourself. Good song. Do you know it? Not by heart. Perfect. Uh, you can't hide from yourself. Everywhere you go, you. Everywhere you go, there you are. There should have been a comma there. You can't even get away from yourself, even in your car. Oh, close. No matter where you turn, I'd say you turn in your car, so you get yeah, a point. Yeah, cars turn. <laughs> you get a point. <laughs> I love the direction this game is going. This is how we're playing this game from here on out. <laughs> yeah, just hand, hand out complimentary points. hundred <laughs> percent. Generally, right. if you're in the general area of the ballpark, yeah, point. I'll take it. <laughs> For sure. Okay, I think this is our last one. Um, uh, Carrie Lucas, I Gotta Keep Dancing. All right, Jason, here we go. I just can't let him know that my heart is breaking apart. Even if you're okay with me breaking a fart. <laughs> Is that it? Well, it has to be. <laughs> Music oh, rescue me. I like mine. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> maybe not on the no, first I, date. <laughs> I, yeah, if, you, if you're going to fart, then someone's going to be when I rescued. Rescue me. <laughs> rescue me. Half a point. Yeah, half a point. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Well, uh, believe it or not, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the end of the show, so uh, just want to say thanks again. Uh, let's go ahead and get our final thoughts here. Make it all official and, and wrap it up. Uh, my final thoughts are, Jason, thank you so much for being here today. It's been a blast having you on the show. Tim, as well, thank you so much for being here. I know you're late. You've got a so lot. Late. You've got a lot of stuff going on in, in your world right now. But uh, I, I really, honestly, do appreciate you uh, coming, whether it was late or not. I, I'm glad to have you here. You bet. So, Anytime. Um, Have a great time. Very cool. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, and I would love to have you both back on uh, at any time. So, uh, again, another thank you to our our sponsors, all three of them. Uh, Springfield Music, Just One More, Down in Republic, and Classic Rock Coffee, of course. Um, you know, and as far as final thoughts, I, uh, I, I think I'm going to try, and we'll see if I can kind of come up with some wisdom, some weekly wisdom, if you will. Um, and here's the one for this week. And this one um, came to me whenever I was, um, you know, kind of thinking about Steve Avery and um, what he's meant to the community and that kind of stuff. Um, and just how, how precious life can be and how it can be gone in the blink of an eye. Don't forget to compliment your own bandmates. How many times have you been to a show and you watch somebody and you're like, hey, man, that was great, great set or whatever. Or um, when you first get somebody in the band like, oh, man, he's a great guitar player or whatever. What about when you've been with them for a year or two and you still think they're great, but you never verbalize that? Like, what happens if they're gone tomorrow? Like, you're going to want to wish that you had said something. So don't forget to compliment your bandmates. If you're if you're playing with good people, let them know that they're good people and let them know that you still ha- enjoy having them. So, Definitely. Yep. Um, so that is going to wrap it up for today's show. Uh, remember that times are hard for everybody right now. So may your coffee be strong and your love of music be strong, but your sense of humor be even stronger. We'll see you next week right here um, at 5 o'clock next Sunday. Thank you. Thank you.